Hey, we love that umbrella guy. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. I'm calling from Los Angeles, and I'm having a little problem under the name That Umbrella Guy. I sent him my phone number at least 20 times in the chat and told him to call me. And told him to call me. Mm -hmm. um, he ignored me. Or I'm a man. I filed the report. If you guys could take a look at it and give me a call back, I would love to, to hear what you guys can do to help us. We really, huh, yeah. we, we really need to kind of stop this guy at least until Monday. I told him to call me. Or I'm a man. I'm feeling fly, yeah, I'm so damn fresh Got that platinum grill, bringing in the check Diamonds in my mouth, shining when I speak That umbrella guy, frost and speaking geek Ice on my teeth, I'm dripping so hard Platinum grills, I'm the king of the boulevard Throwing money in the club, making haters mad I'm the baddest in the game, no one gets a pass Ooh, yeah Crushing all these lines, yeah, I feel fly Rolling on the dubs, that umbrella guy Iced out flow on the boulevard You ain't a comic gangster, don't be playing hard Ice on my teeth, I'm flying so high Dropping the bass, that umbrella guy One girl to rule them all, one girl to bind them Baby, I'm so iced out, gonna blind them Rolling in town, I'm an army of one Doing verbal walk by blazing like the sun Riding in my whip, crushing false accusers Dropping off the base on the real abusers yeah. Living life fast, no time for the slow Justice on my mind, stacking up on my throat Life in the fast lane, no time to blink Ice on my teeth, watch it when I speak Chilling on my rhymes, never missing the beat Ice on my teeth, yeah, I'm living that sweet That umbrella guy bringing the platinum heat Crushing every hate and no time for defeat, ooh yeah Oh yeah, man, hey there folks, how you doing today? Megan, what's up, by the way? Can't wait for this, oh, I, I cannot wait for this, Tug, cannot wait yeah, I had some people write me yesterday, and they were like, hey, that umbrella guy, why aren't you streaming today? And I was like, hey, it's because I can't. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I was like, thank you for snatching that food out of my children's mouth, you monster. <laughs> <laughs> I should have done, like you told me, I should have done a whole, Doug's been taken down, breaking yeah. news. Doug's but banned. Doug's that's, that's banned. That's the way I do it. I but cover I am everybody. I am uh, I am bad at the grift. I could have made a ton on that, and I didn't because I'm just bad at it. <laughs> yeah, see, that's what I, I, that's what I was telling Megan. I was like, you know, I can't. <laughs> I've I've been struck, <laughs> you know, and it got handled pretty quickly. But the problem is, anytime something goes wrong in the system, oh, you just. So I got that, and I got a wonderful letter attached to everything, too, that we're going to check out. That'll be fun. Oh, I can't <laughs> wait for this. It's, 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 like, such, it's adventures in grammar, folks. Oh. Adventures in grammar. It's grammar like you've never seen before. <laughs> it's grammar that might not even be from this planet. It's the oh best thing God. I've ever seen. I'm going to pull that onto the screen while we're talking, in fact, you know, just to let people, because I was like, <laughs> I did redact. Um, you know, the first thing that really struck me is she's so, or whoever, I can't say for certain. Like, like again, I can say who I, I'm pretty sure this is, but this rolled in through an anonymous email server. You know, people can go online, they can email you. And, and I'm looking to see if I can 
I can actually find out a sender through it, but you know, it rolls in. So I screenshot it out of the email, but as far as the originating source of it, it's coming from an anonymous email server. I think it's a, let me, let me look real quick. Let me check while I'm talking. Let me see. <laughs> when I saw this rolling, you know how many times I read this to make sure I understood everything in it. <laughs> I was like, you oh read it God. to me, and I was just dying. I was just dying. <laughs> I, I was dying. I can't even. I and then I saw it on the text, and I'm like reading it. I'm like, what? Yeah, what? It's, what? Like, it's like a literacy personified man. One of my locals crew, when I told them we were doing this tonight, they were like, "Oh, please tell me that it was addressed to that." Uh, the umbrella man <laughs> <laughs> no, actually it was what what made it stick out to me is it was it was just one word it was it was i guess supposed to be channel but it was misspelled it said sh chanel <laughs> i was like chanel <laughs> what what what, what? Uh, you know you offering me a, a, a perfume sponsorship what's up what's up i'm down Actually, I don't know. <laughs> There's me, something uh, about this that makes me believe this is from Lynette. Well, it, it goes with the start. This, so this comes in after. So what happens is we ha I have a stream the other night. And I thought it was a good stream. I thought it was enjoyable. You know, it was uh, I covered the alias parts, you know, now talking to other people again from the um, from looking it up in documentation i'll put it that way you know i'm trying to think of a, a way i want to want to say it i don't want i don't want to specifically be like yes checking into people but looking into <laughs> to all of this it came up with 21 aliases right yeah and that's yeah, not 21. it's not private information no no it's out there if you want to find out how many aliases anybody uses you can go to all kinds of different background check softwares type in somebody's name and oop, up it pops and if you have a membership to one of these places like truth finder or whatever a lot of people do journalists or whatever and it, that information is easily findable which means it's not private information <laughs> well 21 e, i mean that that's a lot i was like man i gotta get my game up i mean <laughs> <laughs> i've got like my my regular name you know, my name gets shortened. So, you know, you, you have a few letters come off of it. So I guess technically that, you know, nickname, I'm just gonna call it an alias, you know, difference yeah. is they will pop up uh, in, in background checks and stuff. But uh, then if you add in the channel too, you know, I guess you could call that umbrella man, I guess, maybe. <laughs> Tug, that umbre that umbre the umbrella man. <laughs> the umbrella man. <laughs> uh, so what, five and none of them would pop up. I mean, really think about it and i was hearing other people like, i have Yo. two my no. maiden name and my married name that's it oh yeah i forgot right. maiden name. no i'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> maiden name married name i think most people have two i mean most women have two women, they've got yeah. their married and their you know maiden and then i've never in 20 years of doing journalism tug I have never come across anyone I was investigating that had a aliases at all. I've never come across that any is. of them. Holy crap, man. And this one at 21, there's a problem. I'm sorry, but my red flags are just going off all over the place. Yeah, all yeah, there's a reason. You know, if you had one or two come up, that could just be, again, stripper name or whatever. That That could have been something. But when you have like nine versions of that name and then you have nine versions of your own name coming up in checks that, that's a problem you and know when you it's give your problem. children when you give your children each five or six first names you know something is janky there something <laughs> is wrong like you're using those names and the social security number that came along with it for something that you shouldn't be you don't name somebody Harley, Olivia, Grace, Nancy, Kerrigan, whatever. You don't name someone 18 names. And that that just, we're not royal fam. We're not the royal family. I just, I think the back of this is supposed to be a threat. <laughs> I was like, did they threaten me? It's hard to tell. There's no punctuation. <laughs> I was like, if you're going to threaten me, at least make me under, like, like, let me know, you know? Don't make me guess. 
the lack of punctuation gives me a, a migraine. Oh my god! I, if if I would say either, I would have said it first. Well, maybe her, maybe a troll, whatever you know. But again, somebody went in. They went with a privacy complaint. Now, a privacy complaint will not strike your channel right off the bat. And typically, it, it, it depends on what happens. Privacy complaints are weird, but I have a MCN that they handle all that, so that's not going to work. But what happened was, when it came in, I got a strike that went along with it. Now, when the strike rolled in, they handled it fast. I didn't even realize it. I didn't, even, I didn't get anything with it. I was just like, what the, what the hell's wrong with my channel? And I found out I've been hit, you know? And I was like, what the hell? You know, because I'm not supposed to, you're not supposed to get one there. But I've had, I, I had a similar thing happen. Somebody um, with the, before the herd trial, they went after a live stream. And when they did, the person that fielded the complaint, they just decided arbitrarily to strike my channel, hit me twice. Like, so they actually, I had to fight and fight over it, but they gave me, they, they tried to strike three pieces of uh, material. They tried to take my channel down then. And one of the strikes combined with another. So it only registered two. So I had to fight that. So I've, I've had, you know, you think about this too. That That's whatever worker picks this up. They, they're basically like a, like, you know, an eight or $10 an hour workers deciding whether or not your channel lives tomorrow. That's crazy. But it's insane. I think you should let me read this in my Reddit voice. All right. Have you, you ever read heard it? my Reddit voice? And then we'll talk about it. <laughs> have you heard my Reddit voice? Because here have. it is. I have. I've heard it a bunch <laughs> of times. You don't know the real truth that Jeremy or Redacted have secrets. So how can you make such lies up about me and family and why I call me Turtle Lady? You think it's funny? <laughs> To laugh, funny man. Funny I'm man. not a, I'm not a joke or a punch card. <laughs> <laughs> punch card. <laughs> trudel, trudel, purgatory, so rude. I dare you to joke again about Hidge's knees. He had a replacement. Walk medicine and not turtle shells. <laughs> that is sick. I'm not stupid or a keeper dog. Keeper dog. <laughs> Wait, I'm broken. I can't go on. I mean, look, look, it's not purgatory. It's, it's, it's turtle shales because that's how she it's talks. Purg territory, dude. Look at that purg territory. Purg territory. Welcome to purg territory. <laughs> wait, wait. The turtle, the turtle shales. No, this is this is what you get when you do voice text and you have a southern accent. Those turtle shales, turtle shales. shales. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Kendall, I said I also did not call her those names. You pay for rude things, my dear umbrella. I will put you in the hat rack. Did you enjoy what I did to your <laughs> channel? That is why you could never get get having them on again. You better not say so many seen <laughs> lies. I never said ten men did that, but they did. And it's better to chill than to get what will be coming to you. We'll see you. We'll see you. We'll see. <laughs> the fans <laughs> will see. <laughs> What's a hat rack? How, what is she going to put you in a hat rack? She's, I'm an umbrella, I guess. She's going to put me in a <laughs> hat rack. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many funny things in this. So it took I'm going to put while. you in a hat rack. I'm put you in a hat rack, umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> You know, okay. you cannot read this without a deep southern accent. You can't do it. Uh, uh, can't, can't, can't not real, do it. You can't. You, you know, can't. You better not. I'm not stupid or keeper dog. <laughs> What's a keeper dog? What's a keeper I, dog? Is that like dog kennel maybe? Like keeper dog. It must mean, that's just dog? how she's mispronouncing some word. Keeper dog. Keeper dog. Keeper dog. What is that? I mean, it must be. Must be something thought, else. Chat, help. Well, What's I saw keeper a dog, dog kin doll. I wonder if that's dog kennel. Oh, I'm not stupid or keeping her in a dog kennel. Dog keeping kennel. her. Oh, man. I'm not keeping her in a dog kennel. <laughs> I ain't keeping her in a dog kennel. 
it's a dog, dog tent. Dog. It's a dog tent. <laughs> it's a dog. <laughs> uh, it's bad when you like need some kind of translator to go there. i mean i i i think i have a pd i have a i have a i have a phd in uh in redneck you know i've been out here a long time and i'm still like what the hell a phd in redneck i do man oh my oh. god i mean i think when i can go i'm like I was talking to my neighbor the other day <laughs> and I love my neighbors. They're the nicest people ever, but I was talking to them the other day and they were like, I was like, yeah, I was thinking about like setting up some targets out back at you. And he was like, <laughs> he's like setting up target shit. You just <laughs> set up on your back porch and shoot it. Shit. <laughs> I was like, Hell yeah. <laughs> it's awesome. I mean, I, and what, oh. what a place to live, you know, in, in neighbors in the South. Do people have tannerite over there? Are they blowing up tannerite like in barrels and stuff? Like, are you not shoot? near my house, but uh, they do that out in the... <laughs> I hear that they do that out in sticks that you, yeah, they do <laughs> tannerite so, in stuff. And then you shoot at it and it goes boom. Where my granddaddy lives, like he lives <laughs> out. So he's a, he has nursery area you know it's a if people don't realize that's raising trees like 85 percent of the trees that you see in big uh like like say um california new york any big city yeah they come from here <laughs> that's that's our that's our claim to fame here something about the uh -huh. soil yeah yeah so you've cool. never heard of this place but you've seen the byproducts of it but um <laughs> he has he has all this land i mean it it's amazing you know and um he's a he can he can pinch a penny and make that thing squeal too so I'll probably, <laughs> i'm like i'm like why don't you hook me up with some of that land and he's like <laughs> right you know yeah but they people go out there and we used to blow up stuff and do all kinds of craziness out there one of my friends yeah, there's uh, nobody out there to care well one of my friends has uh he not only has his uh, firearm uh, selling, whatever. I'll, I, I'm not sure about the licensure. I don't know the technicalities. But he can also, he has the thing where you can own automatic weaponry. So he came out and he was like, you know, it'd be cool. We should do like a an action movie. You know how people like like Arnold will have like a an AK and another AK, you know, and run around mm -hmm. with it and shoot. He was like, why don't you try to hold two and shoot them at the same time while just walking <laughs> i was like all right let's try that oh my god man <laughs> oh. set up a barrel you know or something as a target oh my god man can't hit anything doing that i was like my god action oh. star rejected but yeah we have fun action <laughs> star rejected yeah it sounds oh. like a war zone out there when we get going. <laughs> oh, uh, man. I can't. I got to tell you, though, I don't think anybody else could have written this. This woman is so charismatic. And what well, comes out, I mean, she is in the wrong line of work. This woman should be on in the movies or something. I don't know. But she definitely needs to start a cameo. I'm giving you good advice, Lynette. I'm giving you advice that you could live on. Yeah. Like you can make an honest living. Sign mm -hmm. yourself up on Cameo and start doing people's voicemails. They will pay you for that shit. Oh, my God. I would love for you to do like a voice. I hate that umbrella guy intro. Oh, oh. my God. I, I, I would pay money for he, that. He will pay you for that, Lynette. Yeah. People will pay you for this. You are mm -hmm. funny. You you don't know how funny you are, but you are funny, and I know you feel <laughs> very upset by it. But when you get upset, you are funny, my dear, it, and you, you should do you should do cameo. Look into it. Yep, you should drop the <laughs> stupid shit. You should yes. stop messing with Jeremy, and that would be the contingency on there. I would pay you after you did it. <laughs> you after you drop stop, it, right. drop all the stupid lawsuits and like, yep. we'll stop. And then you can have a whole career doing cameo for people. People will pay for it. It's so funny. But you got to stop with the, you know, the illegitimate means of trying to make a buck. Make it the right way. You know, like do something. Jeremy made you famous. Now you're famous. So do something with it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, she could she could make bank for a long time too. I know she I mean, could live off of this for a while. That I'm not, you are not a nice person. My God, my God! I'm going to play it's that gold. tonight. We're doing it's that tonight. We're gold. going to do that video. We're, we we're going to do that video. Yes, we, we have to.
I'm going to, I'm going to go through this letter. I, I, there's certain things I noticed in it. I was like, okay, it took me a little while to, to catch some of this stuff. Like right away. Jeremy's noticed, in the chat, by the way. I just noticed. It. <laughs> What's up, Jeremy, by the way. <laughs> How you doing? Man, you know what? I hate this stuff again. I, I'll, I, I hope this is just said always. I hate that this is pointed at you. I hate that this is pointed at redacted. <laughs> redacted. That's another thing. <laughs> Poor I redacted. Yeah, Poor redacted. Because you know, you doxes her every time, you know? And I, I mean, know. That's, that's one of the things, like, th the name doesn't even register. You know, it, it registers as this is who this person is. They go by a name. That, that's what they always go by. Everyone notices them. I get an email that, again, I can't, I, I'm going to see if I can verify, but a lot of those anonymous ones, they're, they're one and done. They don't keep any records. They just dump them out there, you know? So we'll see. We'll see if I can get someone that can, if you know somebody that can uh, help with that, hit me up too. I'm curious. Maybe it goatee Brad can figure it out. Can, can help you with that. I think he's All in right, the chat. Okay. So it goatee Brad, if you have ideas about that, let me know. We'll hook but, you up with umbrella guys. So you can, <laughs> so that you can uh, look at his email that he got. See, some of these typos are slick, too. The real truth. I was like, hey, that, you know, YouTube videos, the real, real truth. truth. Like, hey, oh, my real. God. You can have that's the name of your channel. Yeah, real the truth. real truth. There you go. <laughs> you can there it the is. Real truth. You get up there and scream about how we're all not nice people. Hmm. <laughs> oh, right. it would be so fun. Please do it. Please win that. Please. Oh, it is so good. F focus they have all of your rage focus all of your rage and anger into the camera and just post <laughs> that shit on youtube and it will take off yeah talk about tugs tits too i need a little bit of <laughs> i want to I revitalize that she's hashtag. probably wondering what, what the hell is what the hails is tugs tits? what the hails indeed <laughs> oh my kid by the way he got a detention today for saying what the hell <laughs> Should have been and like, I, he's just shouting out his favorite channel. And I told, I, I meant to say to the teacher, like, well, he's growing up in my house. I mean, I just don't know how he's going to avoid it. I mean, of all the things you could say, what the hell is not that bad, but he's in Catholic school. So I guess we're not allowed to say hell. Huh. Little, my, my littlest one, when she says certain words, they, you know, they sound like other words. And when she says, um, <laughs> when she says, <laughs> pretty and when she first said it it didn't sound like pretty it sounded like you know my, i'm gonna say my kitty you know <laughs> yeah, <that laughs> like, yeah like this like Wet this ass p word <laughs> yeah exactly exactly and I, I was like i was like what the what did you just say to me <laughs> you know? i had i saw a video of a little girl who couldn't say the word dump truck but she thought she was saying it and it kept coming out dumb f word Oh, all yeah. over and her mother kept saying what is it again what is it again to get her to say it and she would be like dumb f dumb f dumb <laughs> f like are you stupid or something like i'm saying it i'm saying dump truck and you're not accepting it oh so funny what you know i make jokes about striking and stuff too you know we can handle it i'm a larger channel here the thing is that when that happens first of all it takes money away from people i'm not saying like, i'm not saying that to be like give me money <laughs> you know i'm just saying like <laughs> you know it, it just how many it days took away. how many yeah, well, days it took yesterday you and you know that would have been a that would have been a seven day hit is what mm -hmm. it would have been if it would have stood now how many little channels just eat strikes like this and we never hear about it you know oh absolutely so many so many I mean, I just got one, uh, not a strike, but I got a an inarguable copyright on yesterday's stream because I showed a soundless video of a horny dolphin. And somehow this dolphin who's like attacking this woman in the water <laughs> kept trying to stick its nose in her, you know, woohoo. And um, I showed that and I got a, a copyright that I can't even argue. It just demonetized the whole live stream and I can't fight it. I have to either edit it out and there's no explanation either. There's no who owns the thing and can you contact them? And I talked over the entire thing. I made it my content, but. Well, that I always wonder if people like pay a premium for that. Cause there's only one other place that I've ever seen that was not arguable. And that is Warner music. 
Warner Music. They they hit me before. Couldn't argue with it or anything. I was so mad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't like uh, that. And it, it's really strange that people do that. If you're one of those people who puts that type of copyright on your stuff, you should stop it. There is such a thing as fair use. There's such fair a thing use, as karma. Yeah. And fair use is a thing. <laughs> like you can't just strike people who are using content you created and also providing their commentary over it. That's fair use. That's what the news does. You know, the news isn't paying a people for their well most of the time they're not paying people for stuff they see on twitter yeah yeah you know every now and then it, it depends on the place but what happens is a lot of these uh, a lot of these little groups will go in and they don't even own it they just flag stuff you know i mean this system is messed up but, but it's messed up <laughs> it's very messed, messed up, up. You know, uh, somebody in the chat it was ged hansworth said hashtag the real tooth <laughs> the R E E L tooth. The real, the real tooth. tooth. Oh, that, oh, that'd be <laughs> an awesome channel. I'd subscribe. <laughs> We're all messed up here at the real yeah, tooth. Yeah. This is seriously messed up. <laughs> seriously messed up. <laughs> I like it. It gets so mad, though. It's like they have secrets. Uh, so, how can you make such lies up? <laughs> one word lies up about me and family. And why call me Turtle Lady? <laughs> turtle Lady. <laughs> turtle Lady. I don't even yeah, uh, ma'am. We have we have been calling you the Turtle Queen, which yeah. I frankly think is a is a kind of a cool nickname. You're the Turtle Queen. You've heard of the Tiger King, and you are the Turtle Queen. It's, you, you just are. Just accept it. Just embrace it. Do what I did. Someone called me medium smart. It is now in my bio. Like that's what you do. You take it, you take the criticism and you turn it into something you, you can put on a t-shirt and sell and make money out of. You just haven't learned this yet. I don't know if you're just like in a, if you're like boomer, you're just too boomer to figure it out, but you gotta, you gotta work with this. You've oh got your 15 up minutes, your 15 yeah, minutes. Don't video. waste it. Complain about stuff so I can laugh. I mean, cover it. I'll definitely cover your story. <laughs> please, please, Lynette, start a YouTube channel where you just complain about shit, like yeah. about people you don't like, things you don't like. It will be a huge hit. It just will. I would just love, I mean, I, I, what you need to do is go in and read some of your complaints that you made because only you, first of all, really like this, decipher this fucking thing. I know. Ugh. I mean, this is like finding some Egyptian text or something. Do I, do I need the Rosetta Stone? Is there a redneck Rosetta Stone where I can Oh, God, a redneck Rosetta Stone. Listen, if somebody did this as satire, it's so good that I can't tell. Like, it's so good. If this is somebody well, did this, Perg, Perg territory, that is that is brilliant level. Well, Sarah, you know, I, if, they had to be the person that went after my channel too. So I, I didn't say anything about this before this stuff rolled in. So the, for that person to know that, and to, you don't get to see who makes a privacy complaint, by the way, you get to see an area of whatever stream, you know, you know what they're basically kind of alluding to, you know, there, but it, it's, you, you kind of get the idea, like who else would have been mad? And I covered that night. I, I talked about that. I talked about um, Peeping Tom a little bit. But besides that, I was just talking about how Florida had jacked up uh, judges. And, you know, I was, was kind of covering. Tom, the Peeping Tom is a very educated lawyer. Yeah. He or his family, n neither of, and his wife is a doctor. They neither one of them, neither one of them talks like that. No, no way. And. Well, who else would be butthurt about being called Turtle Lady? Well, they also they wouldn't go that that way. And really, since that's no. a, a public trial, they you know you would bring more eyes to it, more so attention they, if they yeah. responded. They just there's nobody else it. except maybe John Cook. I mean, I guess it's possible that it could be John Cook, but I don't know. This has Lynette's stamp all it over it. If you like ask it. me, I mean, again, somebody I would have thought a oh, funny troll, maybe you know, crazy, but. You know, with the the privacy complaint, they're, they're at least saying that that would be who they are. You know, but let's see. So why call me Turtle Lady? You think ist ist is funny <laughs> to laugh, funny man? <laughs> funny man. Funny Look, man. I found I found what we need. I found what we need 
in order to uh, decipher this. It's Jeff Foxworthy's Complete Redneck Dictionary. You can get it on <laughs> Amazon. <laughs> Are you good? Is it showing any of your accounts? Yeah, no, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. You can put it up. I'll put mine back up in a minute. But this is what we need. We the, All the oh, words <laughs> we might need could be in here. When somebody in the chat said Redneck Dictionary, I'm like, I bet that exists. <laughs> sure enough, <laughs> you might be a redneck if... <laughs> oh this used to make me laugh you know because jeff foxworthy would hit i, I was like man some of those really are close to home <laughs> 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 uh, oh it's good it's good it's so good i need that red, dictionary. rednecks can be very you know again redneck should be a, a derogatory term you know it's supposed to be a derogatory <laughs> term but some people embrace it and, and I don't, well, that's how you do it. That's how yeah. you do it. You just you just become that you you take it in and you make it your own. You you that's what you do. I mean, look what happened to the N word. <laughs> there's a whole group of people who are not allowed to use it. <laughs> look what happened. I never want them to stop using like. Uh, I mean, I love some of the derogatory terms around here. I love it when people are dropping you know crackers and you know you're like you redneck cracker. I'm like oh, <laughs> I love it. Drop, it. Drop that beat like it's hot. Let's Drop see. it like it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> I am not Whoa. a joke or a punch card. I wonder if that's supposed to be punchline. Punch punchline. But I kind of like punch card. card. <laughs> like you're at the, 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 the dollar store and you got the punch card for, you know, 10 Reese's, get one free. <laughs> yeah. Um you're at you're at the turtle farm, you know. <laughs> nine visits, get a free salmonella. <laughs> Did you get the new turtle turtle uh, snatchery? The turtle snatchery commercial, the I new did. one. <laughs> I did. Uh, I would uh, one suggestion I would make. I love those, by the way, and I would play them up here. But the name, you know, um, the, but it's it's pronounced Cahuns. Yeah, but when it plays up there, if if you draw it out a little bit more. You know what I mean? Draw the name out just. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That well, way, I think uh, what happened was she in the second one, mm -hmm. she used AI voice uh, yeah. detector. That's funny. And it did. She didn't spell it the way it needed it to hear, so it didn't do it the way she did it the first time. So it, you know, the first. So it's a little shorter than the. <laughs> I like them. I think they're hilarious. I scummy uh, scummy cunts. Yeah. <laughs> well, you, <laughs> when the AI, you know, they use AI bots to go through um, our live streams too. So when they go through, they'll be like, ah, ah, ah. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> exactly. So just draw it out. Remember, you're you're talking about the South anyway. That's bad. When even I'm like, I have an accent, and even I'm trying to throw in a thicker accent. Ugh, that I was really that. one of the most creative things, though, ever. Is like the the reese the reese saying of that word is just <laughs> punch card though oh my god oh what kind of punch card uh, like it'd like... be like a big lots like a big lots punch card it's also look look how many i mean all the typo in these nasty words it's it's truddle it's a truddle truddle territory <laughs> truddle per territory that is somebody who never went to catholic school right there <laughs> That's true. You would never misspell purgatory. We're just aiming for purgatory. You know, we're just all trying to get there. You know, we get us Catholics, man. We know how to spell purgatory. <laughs> it's so funny. I think we had to raid. I might have to slow the chat down. For the oh, no. DJ me. Radis. No. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. DJ hey, Radis I, did let me, let me, let me this know. letter. Uh, I'm going to pull that back up. I didn't mean to cut you off. I'll pull that back up, but I'm going to slow the chat down just a little bit for the mods because the mods are probably like, what are you doing? To <laughs> slow it down. <laughs> uh, DJ Radis actually read the letter with the AI Lynette voice. I'm sending oh, it to really? you. I'm sending it to you right now. Okay. okay. It's in your I'll, email. I'll right, it's I'll an audio it. file and it is freaking hilarious. I'll pull that up in a minute. Give me a second. Let's oh my see. God, I'm fine. I'm trying to remember i always forget how to <laughs> you can tell i never slow the chat down because uh, i'm like oh yeah there it is i remember how to, yeah. 
I don't like through the through the depth trial, like my mods were like, what are you doing? Because I wouldn't slow it down. There'd be like 20, 30, 40,000 people. Like, oh, wow. <laughs> I was like, well, you know, if you watch it and long enough, it's like motion sickness. It's very <laughs> All right, let me mm. this back up. Let me actually so let me find that AI real quick. You you said you emailed it to me. I did. I emailed. I forwarded it to you. I might have to. I'm it's too. just an audio file. It's not a. Um, oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah. It took it a minute. I was like, "Where'd it go, Megan?" <laughs> I <laughs> swear, I sent it to the right person. I finally, I finally memorized your email, which is so weird and like doesn't relate to you at all. So yeah. I have I'll to, have to. I, so, are there two of them, or is there just one? Oh, just it's, one. It's, it's forty-one it's seconds. Play. All right, I'll have to put it in a to make it play on here. It's uh -huh. weird; they won't play it, so I'll have to put it in a Dropbox. So, just oh, it'll it. play from mine if you want. But yeah, pull it up on yours because uh, the All way right. I've got my Streamyard set up, it won't let me. It'll let a guest play. It's so much a mess. Up with. All right, there you go. All right, you ready? Yeah, play it. You don't know the real truth that Jeremy or Redacted have secrets. So how can you make suck lies up about me and family? And why call me turtle lady? You think us funny to laugh funny, man. I am not a joke. Hunt card, hot turtle, perch oratory. So rude. I dare you to joke again about AJ's knees. He had a replacement walk medicine and not turtle shells. That is sick. I am not stupid or keeper dog. Ken doll. I said, I also did not call her those naked <laughs> things. My dear umbrella. I will put you in the hat rack. Did you enjoy what I did? <laughs> now that is get never having them on <laughs> again and you better not say so many seeing lies i never said 10 men did that but they did and it's better to chill than to get oh, what will be coming you will see you will see you will see you will see i'm <laughs> i'm making a song out of that i'm gonna put it's gonna be called i will put you in the hat rack i'll put you in the hat rack i'm making one i'm gonna make a song out of that I'm, it'll be um, for sure i've been looking for it so I, I i said when i first covered this i, I was gonna make a song and i and i worked on one <laughs> but i didn't like the way certain parts of it you know i was like eh, it's it's a little it's too hokey i want it to be funny not hokey you know oh, <laughs> so, larry's here larry oh, what's up larry he says i will put you in the hat <laughs> i will put you in the hat right <laughs> talk you need t-shirts that say <laughs> I oh my god, I'm gonna do it. You read my mind. You know I was gonna do it. <laughs> pay attention. This is how it's done, Turtle Lady. Now Tug's gonna make a t shirt out of your email. <laughs> Put you in I'm sorry, I'm saying <laughs> Put you in that is funny shit. I'm also gonna put in the uh the 10 men thing too. I never said 10 men. That's gonna be a line. <laughs> you know, you know, she's gonna drop it like it's hot. Hashtag hat rack. Can we get that trending? Can we get I'm gonna rack. put you in that hat rack? Hashtag hat rack. Hashtag, hashtag buckle hat up. rack. Buckle up, hashtag hat rack. Oh, I'm gonna hit up uh I'm gonna hit up Dead Punk. He's the he's the guy who does all the like like the icon that I'm using right now. I'm gonna I need I need a good picture to go with put you with the hat rack. Oh, you know, something for some merchandise. I'm gonna oh, have that's... me like sticking in a hat rack. Ooh. Yeah, you gotta be in the hat rack. You have yeah. to be in there. Rack. <laughs> that's amazing. Let's and it's got to be one of those old ones that has like the umbrella stand around the bottom. <laughs> that's what I thought when I yeah yeah yeah. yeah 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 yeah. And it's like like a like almost like a little jail thing. Like you're stuck in the hat rack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I feel like I'm on the discount being at Walmart or something. <laughs> Ken doll hat rack. Oh, so maybe the pole part can look like a Ken doll. And oh, then. No. <laughs> Oh God, this is too much. So rude. I dare you to joke <laughs> again about his knees. So this, he had a replacement. So alleged. With, I think that's alleged. supposed to be with medicine. You know, it says Wath medicine and not turtle shells. <laughs> so. well, wait a minute now. You don't have a knee replacement with medicine. <laughs> knee replacements are with like steel rods, right? No, no. Turtle shell. Or, that's it. No, that's no. <laughs> that's no, what I, I was mean, saying. A, a so all these turtles, blood. you know, all the turtles keep disappearing. I, I I came up with an answer for it. Like you know, we watched the fish and wildlife thing. All the turtles were gone. He keeps talking about how he's had three knee replacements. Huh? You know, I mean, turtle shells. That's a very cheap way to get your knee back. <laughs> Just saying. So I guess that's what that's that about. Hill, hillbilly knee replacement, right there. 
this is sick. <laughs> that is sick. I'm sorry. That is sick. I'm not stupid or keeper dog kin doll. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I like how it has no punctuation. So you have no idea where something starts or stops. I said, I also did not call her those names. Who's uh, her? Oh, oh, her redacted. <laughs> oh. Remember when in court she used the N word? Yeah, 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 the, yeah. She yeah, dropped yeah, the hard yeah. R. She yeah. dropped the hard R in court. I couldn't believe she put that in a filing. I know. She called, I, I'm going to just use the first sand. That was it. And then, you know, the hard R after that. And it was like, holy crap. Right, I, I, I would That's going to get sampled for the rest of your life. Yeah. <laughs> I would have redacted like that. You know, I would have at least put an asterisk in it or something. And, you know, I'd explain that to the judge. I'd been like, yeah, you know. I, I didn't say, I, I wouldn't even spell it out. You know, that would be. But it sure um, rolled off her tongue easily enough. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I don't think I could say it in court like that. I'd be like, um, you know, you know, the N word. <laughs> you know? Nobody, we're not allowed to say that. <laughs> I, I just wouldn't even, I'm, there's no way. There's no way I would have put that into a document. There's no way I would have put that like into against just speaking out oh, my god mm. <laughs> like, like again like you said somebody seems pretty comfortable if they're willing to just drop it pretty <laughs> drop comfortable it like it's hot. if you can drop it like it's hot on the courtroom floor in front of a judge you know <laughs> like Sounds you're like pretty you drop comfortable it, so, drop pretty it comfortable. like it's hot on the courtroom floor in front of the judge <laughs> it's like what is this like if <laughs> Is this some kind of like German extracurricular activity yes. or something? <laughs> yes. Normally it happens in the Senate hearing rooms. Yeah, but... exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you pay. You pay for the rude things, my dear D E E R umbrella. <laughs> now, maybe that's a, a veiled threat right there because what do you do with deer in the South? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> You put them in the hat rack. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you show them what happens with the dog Ken doll. <laughs> what, what in the world? I will put you in the hat rack. That sounds like a threat, actually. That does. You pay for rude things, my dear umbrella. I will put you in the hat rack. I mean, that, that is a threat. It's the funniest threat I think I've ever heard, but it is a threat. Uh, did you enjoy? What I did to your Chanel <laughs> and your Chanel. <laughs> <laughs> What's funny is the first time. Okay, like I said, the email is a, that's that's what it's titled. It's titled Chanel. <laughs> so okay, it's one time is a typo. Two times. <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man. Here's another question. Any device that you type stuff up, I, I mean, I get some typos that go through and I get weird autocorrects, right? But what the hell can you type this on that allows you to do some of this stuff? I think she uses text to, to I mean, speech to text. Because you know how bad that is yeah. when you're doing speech to text? Uh, that has to be, that has to be this. What is this, like a redneck version of Ebonics? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, does it, does it translate it to redneck, too? Because you would think it'd be a little smarter than this. Somebody in the chat, when I said, what do you do to deer? They said, turn them into a hat rack. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, you know. That's also true. Uh, oh, God. Let's see. What I did to your Chanel. Yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> that, that is... That is what what Q. I don't. I can't even do a Y Q U. You Q. You Q. Get never having them. This what on you again. get. It's what you get. Never having them on again. I wonder That's, if they're talking about. Is that the, the, hails? the hails? Or is that because you've got the ten men statement later? Who's the and ten that's men? A, that's um what uh what was Ashley uh, and uh. Samantha. Oh, 
Right. Well, yeah. she never said 10 men, but no, ma'am, those were the, t that was the testimony of, of your stepdaughters. <laughs> that wasn't your testimony. It was theirs. Yeah. I mean, there's a difference thought, between so what you have said and what they have said. And what had happened was they said you accused 10 men. <laughs> I was just like, man, whoever, uh, whoever did this, they keep up with this stuff better than I did because <laughs> I, I didn't put, you know, I, I thought the hills at first until I listened to the, actually the, the AI that dj redis when that went through then i thought oh yeah you know all of that together <sighs> that's probably what that maybe i don't know maybe it's about everybody who knows and you better not say so many seeing lies what does that even mean what? many seeming maybe seeming lies many saying lies and <laughs> no, again, no. That doesn't make sense. That's what you get never having them on again. And you better not say so many seeing lies, lies, seeing lies, seeing lies. How do you see uh, lies? Make sense. No, it doesn't uh, make sense. I'm trying to make it make sense, but you it's try. not. I'm trying. I'll make so it. So many seeing lies. I never said 10 men did that. So she's. Well, maybe seething lies, but I have a feeling that she doesn't know those kind of words. Yeah, I don't think well, seething, seething is, a is is outside yeah. of her vocab. Teething lies, maybe, maybe she knows something <laughs> about teeth, but not, not toothless, seething. toothless lies, oh. toothless lies. I never <laughs> said men did that, but they I did. Never said. Oh, but they did. <gasps> I never said 10 men did that, but they did. Really? Wow. That's interesting. God, so I, so you I, did. I hope she verifies this is her, by the way. Please verify that this is you. I mean. Yeah, send another one. Tell us that it's God, you. God, send me like, God, send me more love letters, baby. These are like, this is like a box of chocolates. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, seriously. Oh, but they did. And it's better. To chill, that's a strange one. To chill, then she wants you to chill out, man. Just chill out. It's better. Oh, maybe that's what it is. Chillax. Better to chill out. Chillax. <laughs> better to, to chillax get. than to get what will be coming. You will you see. What will be coming? You will see. You will see. You will see. What is that? You will see. You will see. You will see. Oh boy! I don't I don't know. Know. You will see. Okay. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> All right, then. Hey, do you think maybe I'll see? Maybe you will see. Oh, it says well, maybe no. you'll, it says you will see. So maybe you will see. Speaking of seeing, I want to see that freaking um, video of she's going to jail. They you know that one. Oh, yeah, the deposition. I still haven't watched the entire thing all the way through oh, because I, I get broken halfway through and I can't, I can't recover. So oh again, and I'm drinking I've, too. So I haven't seen this uh, when I wasn't sober, which is going to be fun. I've only seen clips of it and it was because of you, you know, you and <laughs> uh, you and um, oh, what's his name? Um, I mean, I tried to uh, MG MG law. And what's yeah. the other guy that was on there too? Um, uh, the I don't know. The expert. Oh, the expert. Yeah. Yeah. The Props expert, him, by the way. Yeah. I'm giving him yeah. love, you know. He was he like, he wrote a, hey, by the way, I want to give him some line. He was, he wrote uh, on Twitter. I mean, he was just like, I can't believe like Megan Fox had me on. It was so nice there. And I was like, what? dude, like, yeah, <laughs> it was nice. Was. It was. I was like, oh man, you know, no, you're good, dude. You know, and People then he comes on, on my show and he asked me about a Brazilian. That's how he rolls. <laughs> and Nobody you know what I'm talking about, expert. Nobody asked me about my Brazilian way. <laughs> oh man, that's how the whole dolphin thing started. And then now I got copyrighted. It's all his fault. He said that, he was smooth like a dolphin. And I, I had to play the video. I just had to. You know where my bro, I mean, that's how the dolphin, I was like, what? Somebody like make a dolphin shape in there. <laughs> Marius or what? <laughs> He yeah. said he was smooth like a dolphin, and that made me think smooth of that stupid like dolphin, dolphin video that I saw. Oh my god! 
Uh, yeah, I don't know why we were talking about waxing. I have no idea. But that's what happens when you have the expert on your channel. Blame him. It's his fault. I never talk about terrible subjects like that. Yeah, that's what you have when you have Megan Fox on your channel. Come on. <laughs> uh, by the way, we talk so about you. boobs and Legos on my stream. <laughs> boobs and Legos. Very, very family friendly. All children love boobs. Everyone knows this. You realize my channel is 2,279 subscribers away from 400K. Ooh. Oh, we got to do it. You guys, we got to do it. Jeff just got to 70,000 because of all of this. 70,000 he finally got to. And who else? Let's see. MG Law got to 5,000. The expert, I think, got to 5,000 too. I got up over 40,000. We can push Tug to 400,000. That would be so and uh, and the what the hail's got 700,000. They hit 700. Did you see that? I haven't yet, but see that's what's going to happen. If if this gets enough eyes on it. That that's that's really what I want to see. I want to see them push into a million because if they get I I tell you, if this story actually gets out there and gets real coverage. Re, you know, uh, it mm -hmm. just keeps rolling and snowballing until people can't ignore it. That's where it goes. They go into that. Yep. Yeah. Well, it's still snowballing. I mean, it's still, oh, yeah. it's making its way around the channels and it's, it's making, it's lift rising tides, lift all ships, people yep. keep it going, keep hitting that subscribe, mm -hmm. make sure you get over to all the channels that are covering the story because you're going to get different angles on different stories. Uh, DUI guy, I think he got a record number of subs too. He's st still streaming about this. He did a stream earlier today about, I think he read my article that I just wrote on pjmedia.com. I'm going to do a clickety video. Click, clickety yeah. click, people. I wrote a new article let, about the, the uh, corruption in the Eighth Circuit Court. And I did, the reason why it took me a while to get it up, because I've been talking to Tug for like a week <laughs> about writing this. But it took me a while to get it published because I was giving them the time to respond to my press inquiries, which I sent to the government. Hey, can you drop office. a link to that in the private chat? I'll pull it. Yeah, sure. Here. I was All giving right. them time to respond because, you know, I had to send press inquiries. I, I want to make sure that everybody knows that here's what I'm writing about. Do you have anything to say about this? Basically, my press inquiry is actually way funnier than the article itself. Oh, no. uh, Your article is amazing. I, that's why I want to show, <laughs> I want to show the picture because I can't believe you got that picture. <laughs> I know. I oh, know. Man. You gotta love. You gotta. Love, it's in the private chat. Yeah. You gotta love pjmedia.com for allowing me to use my Lego photograph, my Lego Lego picture of the story of the tanning salon <laughs> pervert for the head lead photograph, the main image of this article. You gotta love. You gotta shout out to PJ Media and my editors over there because they are the bomb. Yeah, I, I was like, I can't believe they let you do that. It's amazing. You know, I know they, is. okay, they so here we are. Well. If they people haven't seen well. this, just brace yourself for it, okay? Because this <laughs> is magic. All right, here we go. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> I mean, that is, God, just drink that in there. Look at the face. And <laughs> <laughs> I looked so hard for that face. I went through every Lego head my son had looking for that face and I found it. <laughs> well, that is so amazing. I mean, you that right there too, that says you're calling law, laws, and Legos. I'm telling you, that is your <laughs> Law, laws, and Legos. Look yeah. at the headline too. Scroll up a little so you can see the headline because I think this is one of the best ever. <laughs> <laughs> lawyer <in> <laughs> <laughs> oh and i'm not good at writing headlines but frankly i think this is a good one hey guys oh, yeah. it's not trending look it's not even in the top three how is this happening how are you how is it not trending you guys need to go and click on it right now i'm going to drop it in the chat and i expect you to go clickety click on it your thumbs are not broken you can click on it and it costs you nothing nothing and you can go and make it trend let's go do that now can yeah, you please go do that now I'll it. all right go and click on it and make it trend because you know mama gotta get paid period yeah, okay? Exactly. okay and then share it on your social media too but besides that it's a really good article with a lot of like serious <laughs> serious shit in it I'm so good with this. I almost, I almost timed you out instead of putting a pin in it. <laughs> <laughs> you almost timed me out. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, I, I watched the chat with my, uh, with my cell phone. 
you know, because otherwise my my freaking in my redneck internet can't take it. You know, the hamsters yeah, pulling know. those wheels are like mm -hmm. I know mine mine is like that too. It's not my computer, it's my Wi Fi. It's you know, it's bad. We'll roll. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a video on this though, because I think it's uh <sighs> it's crazy. Like again, the, the social it media is crazy. Wind, I've been wanting to do a I'm gonna start with the other article and talk about again. The hell, in my opinion, all the eyes that have been put on this, that that really is when you get down to winning, they've in the courtroom, this is how you get to legal winning. You know, you you bring up issue after issue, you put things on blast, and maybe you get what you want there. But there's another winning too. You know, when they're uh, they were talking, I saw their live stream where they were talking about cost association and everything, and it's insane. You know, they're talking about how that right now i mean that that's definitely put a damper on good works everything they've been trying to do so it's like man they need to be rewarded with uh with all those eyes and again seven hundred thousand, that's good but that's just a start let's you know let's let's get it to a million that'll be amazing yep yep look at that tanning bed look what i did on that tanning I mean, bed with the that, that is, like for real people damn like, and it even yeah. closes it closes and it's hinged <laughs> that is it yes it is a hinged top that that opens and closes it's got the lights it's got oh I, i'm so i'm so excited about that i did such a good work such good work on that lego tanning bed and the selfie stick i mean i'm I, i'm dead i'm dead the selfie <laughs> stick is hilarious Ah, it reminds me, every time I hear this story, though, I really, I, I flash back to Silence of the Lambs. It puts the lotion on its skin. <laughs> <laughs> or it gets to Thomas's again. <laughs> the only thing that would make it better is that she was wearing a bikini. I got to find a Lego character wearing a bikini. Oh, that That's a magic, though. Again, I, I never, I never knew there was so much talent in your Lego. I mean, you're dropping those Lego skills like they're hot. <laughs> And I've never done Legos before. Oh. I just picked it up and apparently I'm pretty good at it. And and it's really, it's fun and I love it. I love doing it. My tanning salon that I made is like super mod too. It's like very modern architecture. And it's like one of my favorite things I've ever done. Uh, you, it has uh, a front office and everything. Can you give a, like, I don't want to like do the whole thing. Because obviously we read through the whole filing. But some people are probably like, what the hell are you all talking about? So okay. click the article, of course. But yeah, right. can you give us too, some? The too long didn't read is this. That dude with the camera peeping over the wall, that is is a former prosecutor in the Eighth Circuit where Jeremy Hales is stuck in court with Judge DeThomasis. And he did this thing to this woman in a tanning salon in Gainesville in 2014, I believe. I think it was either 2014 or 2015. And... um. The entire Eighth Circuit, almost all of them, five judges, including Judge DeThomasis, but he was a defense lawyer at the time, came to his defense and made it so that he actually didn't get it. I just found this out today, Tug. He did not get a conviction on his record. The judge abstained from, uh, from entering a conviction. And instead, he gave him probation because he, he pled no contest to this thing. Uh -huh. So he got probation and they took his um, they took his license away, his bar license. But five judges, including Judge DeThomasis, went to bat for him in front of the bar and they all spoke on his behalf in person. And they said, oh, it was just his private time. Oh, yes, everyone does this on their private time. You know, it's just stupid shit like that. And he's the, he's a good family man. And, oh, this has nothing to do with his professional capacity. And, oh, he it's an isolated incident. Judge DeThomas was quoted as saying, this is not necessarily a black eye on the profession. Like, honestly, sir, what, what would be then? In <laughs> what your, is then? I mean, what do you have to do? What, what do you have to do to put a black eye on the profession of law? Remember that this man was a prosecutor. He was a victim's advocate. And he victimized a woman in a tanning salon. But this story goes, goes so much further. It goes to two different governors of Florida. William Ezel is somebody very important. He's someone very important. I don't know why, and I don't know what it is about him. And I think we should check Epstein's list and see if he's on it. Because frankly, he had two governors involved in this. One governor issued an executive order, Rick Scott, order, 
issued an executive order, which is published at the bottom of this article, sealing all of his records. And the second governor, Ron DeSantis, he appointed Ezel's wife. There's the tanning salon with my very modern architecture. How great is it? How good is that? It's so good. Uh, I love it. Do you see the S at the top? It's an S. That's for yeah. son. Son. Oh my God. Uh, the the uh, the the Ron DeSantis appointed Ezel's wife just last year to a board that she wasn't qualified to be on. And so she had to be kicked off because she didn't even qualify because she wasn't in the she wasn't a resident and she didn't have this type of electric company that she, he sat her on the board. So who is this guy? Who is Ezel? Who is he? I feel like I'm asking who is John Galt? Because <laughs> it, it is crazy. Like when you think about this, I mean, and this the public very well has a right to know about this very much so because we are talking about again the cronyism we've talked about that we've talked about that to exhaustion we've talked about the political favors all the bullshit that goes on this guy again prosecutor victims advocate i can't i can't stress that enough when you go when you go into the courtroom you're typically not stepping in as a victim with a lawyer on your side you've got a prosecutor which is the lawyer on your side you, you've not gone in and hired somebody you're supposed to have the weight of the system on your side and thinking about I, I, every time i look at that case it, it disturbs me because there's so much judicial power and authority that it that's aimed at, at letting this guy off the hook how how the victim feel about that you know they, they when they were like yeah we want to do x y or z you know how do you feel about that we want to we want to allow them to yeah, you think uh, they even asked her no to you if they maybe maybe they probably broke it down with them but i mean what is she supposed to say no I mean, if she did, like, how would you feel about that? Would you feel like there would be some kind of repercussion? Because I certainly did. Well, yeah. Look at look at what, what the governor said. Look at that second gray box. This was in oh. the order to seal. All residents, all residents of the 8th Judicial Circuit are requested and all public officials are directed to cooperate and render whatever assistance is necessary so that justice may be served in sealing. The How is record. that justice? Just it's us. Not it's not it justice. It's just the us. opposite of justice. It is. And look at the first grayed out paragraph. Look at that. I therefore now, therefore, I, Rick Scott, governor of Florida, in obedience to my solemn constitutional duty to take care that the laws be faithfully executed. You lying mother effer. You lying mother feather. You <laughs> are a liar. You're a liar. You are not faithfully executing the laws of this land. You are violating your constitutional solemn oath to the Constitution to make sure that the people of your state are protected. You lying mother feather. Look at look at what he did. In, in using his solemn constitutional duty, he sealed the records of a, pro, a pervert prosecutor on behalf of that pervert prosecutor instead of on behalf of the victim. And I can't find her, by the way. I've looked for her. I have sent messages to several women in her age group uh, that have the same name. And so far, nothing. I don't know where she is. I don't know what happened to her. But Judith, if you're out there, I see you and I want to hear your story. And I want to know, were you intimidated by these people? Did somebody tell you not to make a fuss? What, what did they say? I, it I feels like it, know. doesn't it? <laughs> it definitely feels like it. If, it. if if they didn't directly say that, it's definitely implied, you know? I mean, again, when all that, when residents steps, yeah. all residents are requested to cooperate. What the what the frick is that, Tug? Somebody said uh, the article's trending now. <laughs> so. It is. Keep clicking on it, by the way. Keep clicking on it. Let's let's yeah. make my editors happy. Um, keep clicking on that article because, you know, this is the way you get it out there, too. This is the way we get answers. Send it to Governor DeSantis's office because, you know, I reached out to him and I asked him to unseal the records. And I haven't heard back from his office at all. And you know what? Normally, when I reach out to Ron DeSantis's office, I get a response back from his press secretary. I didn't get shit this time. 
And you know, you know what's unfortunate about that? I work for conservative media. So when we're writing articles, and I've written a few about Ron DeSantis that were very complimentary about his his running of Florida. Mm -hmm. Yet when I reach out to him with some real questions, some hard questions, I got nothing. And you know, I don't think that's I don't think that's right. I'm not an unfriendly press. I'm actually friendly. I'm a friendly press to the DeSantis administration. I've never had anything bad to say about him, but that could change. That could change real quick. And it's going to change if I don't hear from them. So why don't you send my article to Ron DeSantis and ask him, send it to his press secretary, ask him, why hasn't he responded to this? He should unseal these records. We yeah. want to know. We want to know what William Ezel really did. You know what I found out today from, uh, AI from, from Bing AI. I found out that there was surveillance video involved. That's what I said. I told you that's what I said. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Um, I want it unsealed. I want that video. Mm. You think they destroyed <laughs> it? I almost said I got crystal balls, but I was like, no, wait a minute. That's Wait, uh, not crystal balls. <laughs> no, I was like, not with this story. I don't even want to associate that one. I have huge crystal balls. The best. Yeah. They're terrific. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I'll get put in the hat rag for that one. <laughs> Uh, Who's got unhinged cackle? My unhinged cackle on the bingo card. You can scratch that off. <laughs> uh, uh, I I tell you though, I mean, I I look at this. That's what I thought. I thought they they surely surely have him caught on video or something because he wouldn't have meant to it otherwise. I mean, you think about it. It would have been a, a he said she said incident, and, and and fair enough. You know, again, there are. It's such a messed up world. We have false accusers out there, but we have real victims out there too. And you know, something took this beyond that. And I also wondered, and again, this is just speculation. I want to be very clear on that. Just speculation. But I wonder, did they check to make sure that there weren't other victims? Because when you look at this situation, let me roll back up to your... Um, yeah, like did they level. download his phone? Did they see what other videos were in there? And maybe there were other victims. And if they didn't look at his phone, was that because he was a prosecutor? Was that because he was a favorite prosecutor and all these judges were behind him? I am disgusted by this story. Yeah. Disgusted. I am sickened by it. And yes, I've made fun of it by making Legos out of it. And that's funny and everything. But really, it was just a way to get my anger out and make light of a story that really sickens me. When people I mean, in charge it draws of us, eyes to it too. It draws it eyes to it, you know, when you, when you talk about it, because people are like, well, you know, when I look at this too, I mean, you think about how brazen that is. We always talk about criminals, quote unquote, wanting to get caught. And really, that's just because they get to the point where they feel like they can get away with anything. You know, th this was, it was done so brazenly. It sounds like this person had gotten over any fear or, you know, any anxiety or any feelings of repercussions. They'll never get caught doing it. So that you does know make why me... he said he did it. Did you hear his excuse? <laughs> Dermatology, baby. Dermato anxiety. anxiety. Mm. Panic attack. That to relieve his anxiety over not supposing, not supposing to be, he wasn't supposed to be in a tanning salon because his wife's a dermatologist. He had such an overwhelming sense of anxiety that the only thing he could do to relieve that anxiety was to film the woman next door. How does that even work together? Like, like, can somebody explain that to me, please? Have you ever, have you ever prescribed voyeurism for someone suffering a panic <laughs> attack, Tug? Is that a mental health thing I'm not aware of? Uh, yeah, that, that that's that, that's what we did way back in the 2015s. You know, we we've learned a little more since then. The old old psychiatry. Oh my God, they did some crazy stuff. Never video voyeurism, but uh, I had a. At a client, you, you know, the de this comes up a lot, deinstitutionalization, right? There's all these discussions. Why don't we have institutions? Well, yeah, Clover Bottom here. That's in Tennessee. One of them. That's where Geraldo Rivera did his big expose. One of the, there were six people that sued the state of Tennessee and they're set for life. Thankfully, it's because the things they did weren't just staff abusing people. One of the, the people there would have um, 
outbursts, you know, angry outbursts. And, and you can understand why looking at the treatment. So what they would do is they would shackle him to the floor and they would, th this is for real. No joke. I'm not kidding. This is in, this is in his uh, medical stuff. So they would shackle him to the floor and they would take Tabasco sauce and they would apply it to his genitalia. Oh no my joke. God. Yeah. For real. For real. No, no, no joke whatsoever. Like that is. For, and why again? What was this supposed to That was to supposed mean? to, you know, it's supposed to teach you, you know, there's, I guess, consequences in your mind, you know, aversion therapy. Oh if then, you know, this equals pain. I'm not sure. But Could that we do person, that to William Ezel? <laughs> I mean, you know, that's something you should be doing to real perpetrators. They wouldn't do that to to someone like that. But in I feel like that would that would help the tanning salon perv to never do that again. I feel like that might be. Uh... Oh, no, he'd probably be like, ooh la la. <laughs> <laughs> I just watched that movie last night with my daughter. Actually, though, that weird movie. What was it called? Now, the one with. Um... Where he's the mental patient. You don't know he's the mental patient. It's a Scorsese film. Uh with what's his name god what's wrong with me i can't even remember the name of these people I, I can't even remember his name somebody in the chat knows what i'm talking about but it's yeah, all about he's, going, to because I can't he's going he goes to like this this island and like off of boston oh, shutter island shutter, shutter island, island. Oh, yeah, yeah. thank you I just watched... <laughs> even if i knew it i would have let you keep stumbling around <laughs> <laughs> yeah dicaprio i can't believe i can't remember leonardo dicaprio's name yeah, that would have okay. helped right there <laughs> there it is uh, but i just watched it last night i'd never seen it and man scorsese is so talented i my, my daughter even looked at me and she goes boy this is the first time you've watched a movie with me that i can remember you haven't passed out <laughs> <laughs> it's because i couldn't I, my eyes were like like glued open because it was just so um i don't know riveting but what 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 really got me about that was like all the the actual stuff that we've done in our history to the mentally ill and mm -hmm. and what has been done in the past and what what is probably still being done the experimentation and you know all, all of that there, there's that stuff happened. It's probably still happening for all we know. There, were, it, there was a lot of talk helped. about lobotomies. And I mean, these are people who can't, can't advocate for themselves and like all of this stuff that I don't know how we got on this topic, but it was <laughs> well, a good I movie. Mean, Go watch it. Go watch it. Cause that movie Shutter Island is oh so good. Oh, it's my fault. I, 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 that's, that's uh, you know, I, I, and talking about that client there, you know, that, 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 that person, was almost an animal when they came out like they would hide under beds and i mean just horrible horrible situation now the state the 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 only happy ending to all that is the fact that the the state they pretty much wrote those uh six people a blank check so you know wow. they have to be cared for but yeah they they definitely any need that they have they actually have a proper administration of treatment and everything else i um uh, that was with a. Uh, that was before I was a therapist too. So I was not working with them as a therapist, just to note that too, you know. Uh, man, I have a mess. book on New York insane asylums that uh -huh. is something. And it's, it's really sad. It's like, we clearly need a place to house people who are, you know, criminally insane, like other mm -hmm. than jail. You clearly need a place to help people who are seriously mentally ill. But when you get it, <laughs> like this one, for instance. Yeah, you, I thought, well, what a segue. You, what a segue. But when you get them, when we had them, it's like these people abuse this. They abuse the authority and they abuse the the whole, and like they're not providing care. They're, they're abusing them, like chaining them to the floor and, you know, abusing them instead of trying to help them, instead of he, trying to heal them. And, and then we just go the opposite direction and let them all go and prey on, you know, unsuspecting people who are not sick and that, and that creates a whole other problem but, it's like our society cannot figure out the pendulum doesn't need to swing all the way to one side and then all the way back like there's some place in the middle and we never get there just we saying. also uh we you think about this we just mix in so you have a person that's done heinous heinous things but people uh, they decide i'm not fit to stand trial OK, so they take that person and they put them in a place with other mentally ill people. Now, other mentally ill, it could be a person schizophrenic. They, they can't function to a certain degree. Therefore, you know, they've been put in here for care and treatment. You put people that 
absolutely are monsters and that they could do whatever. And, you know, again, we've, we've told these folks that they, um, they basically have a blank check for that too. They can do whatever they want. I, I wouldn't want to be in that situation, but we put, you know, we just mix it. It's just, it's terrible there. We, we need some kind of structure. If we ever do that again, we need some kind of structure and we need to learn how to take care of the mentally ill. No, we need major structure and like major regulations and rules about how you treat mental patients that obviously, but I think it would be much different today. I, I mean, I don't, we're not, it's not the 1800s anymore. You know, there, we have. Clover bottom was in the 1980s. I mean, we're not. I mean, again, was it really? Was it yeah, real? yeah. Well, I mean, the ones in New York, you know, are really old institutions, and they, that was like the the oh. the ones that what's her name went into. Nellie Bly uh, got herself thrown into what a great story. Got herself thrown into a mental institution so that she could report from the inside. So she pretended to be crazy, so she could get thrown in there. And she had her little notebooks, and she was like keeping notes, and she blew the lid off of all of it. Right. And they didn't even know if they'd be able to get her out once she got in. How crazy is yeah, that? Once you're committed, oh yeah, yeah. Once you're once you're in that system, you know. Oh, there's a and there's if a they reason. They found out if they'd found out what she was doing, she would never have gotten out. Never gotten out. No, no uh -uh. way. No, no way. Well, that's. I, I mean, some of the stuff that that happened after that, all of that was exposed when they shut down. So like Clover Bottom, it was so depressing. You know, there, there are people that have nowhere to go. So they had to stay there until they they're going to die there. That's that's essentially they, they provided care. But we went in. Uh, this was when I first started college. We went in to tour the place and the professor we had. I, I love them, by the way. He was like, you know, what would be interesting. We should go two days early. We should just show up because they won't be ready for us. And then we can see what the place really does. Yeah, you know? and, yeah. and we did so when we went in, some of the things that we saw, some of it was depressing, some of it was horrible. They had a an elderly lady that had been left in a bed so long that you know how your body seizes up like it gets sore. They were trying to stretch her out on a medicine ball, you know, a workout medicine oh. ball. Yeah, they had the, we could see the shock room, you know, that they had set up. And again, that... <laughs> There is, there's a difference in shock treatment and a, an electroconvulsive therapy, you know, massaging the brain with stimuli. There's a very big difference. They had a shock room. So, oh God. That tells you. but the worst thing they decided, I don't know who decided this in the, <laughs> the Tennessee legislation, but this is the worst thing ever. They decided, Hey, we're going to give everybody a, a room where you can go and you can, um, you can admire, you know, sunshine, whatever. So they built this room and it, it was nice actually the way they had it set up. Uh, you know, they set in a, a view and everything else, but the view was so depressing. The view, the only thing that they had since they couldn't point it at old buildings or anything else, it pointed back toward the graveyard where these people will be buried. The message there, I thought if anybody mm. could actually you know, comprehend what's there. Your view is of the place. You'll never get out. You're going to oh die God. here and they're going to bury you over there. I thought, man, that is depressing as fuck. That's terrible. Ugh. Yeah, I mean, I could rant on this all day long. Like, no, uh, me too. I think it's a really important conversation. Like right now, we're doing like little to nothing for the for for mentally ill people, and they they don't have safe places to go. A lot of them are homeless and it's a dangerous situation for them and everybody else. And, but when you suggest, well, perhaps we need asylums, everyone just brings up the, you know, the abuses, but it's like, well, you know, we could do that without the abuse. Maybe <laughs> like maybe yeah, I would, just I would, I would, I would not them abuse them. Since we've talked about this horrible stuff, I'm going to, I'm going to lighten it for a second. Okay. So when I first went in to, uh, to work at a place with, uh, with at the time it was MR, you know, the, the R now we don't, we don't use that for intellectual quotients, but it was MRMI, you know, you had to be mentally ill and you had to have an IQ of a certain number. So when I first went in to apply, I uh, went toward the restroom, you know, I was like, all right. And this, this person comes running in and they have pica, you know, they'll eat anything. So they oh, run yeah, over to yeah. a urinal and oh. they grab a urinal cake. No, no, stop, stop, yeah. stop. I can't. I know. They took no. a big bite out. Oh. And they oh. were like, and then they said, mm, yeah, mm, they, they couldn't say lemon. They said, mm, Yemen. <laughs> oh. Oh, my, oh, my God. And they were no. like, 
three people running after like no stop <laughs> 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 oh, oh, and the scene no. in that in my mind i was just like oh my god hmm. yeah. there, there's some there's some funny stories though uh just some crazy stuff I saw somebody throw a colostomy bag at someone before. <laughs> just all kinds of good stuff. <laughs> uh, yeah, for myself as a provider, you know, on the the side as a therapist, when you work with the extremely middle, that wasn't with is it there? That was with direct care. So I wanted to see how this system works. Normally, people will go to school; they'll never work with clients outside of sitting behind a desk. I wanted to understand what it's like to work directly with a client. I also worked in case management and then I worked as therapist, as a director in mental health center, you know, stuff like that. But <coughs> in, in doing it, man, <laughs> you, you see some fascinating stuff and you, and you understand the, the need for all of it. Ugh. But anyway, speaking um, of the need for mental health care yeah, we're gonna let's look at <laughs> and remember too when we're looking at her this is not somebody who's gone in and tried to get help or anything when we're talking about you know these days yeah you know i'm not remote diagnosing i'm not allowed to do that and she has never asked for help so here we go yeah. let's let's check this out we'll let you know i have to let you know that i have to be done by 1 30. no ma'am that's not happening you don't I to have to be at the sheriff's department to be interviewed by the, the uh, investigators at 2 p.m. It's not going to end. We're not ending the deposition. Well, Mr. Hales is the one who wanted them to investigate. Ma'am, we're not so doing I'm it. It's not happening, ma'am. I'm just telling you. Okay. When John gets here, sir, I'm going to ask for a break because I need to call the sheriff's department. And let them know that um, you're not going to yeah. let us off to show up at their department because this was a real investigation. Ma'am, we're not, we're, we're not, this deposition is going to go forward day to day, like the notice says, until we're finished. So we're not going to take any breaks without phone calls. This is not the time. We'll take breaks. Maybe, um, if I don't show up at the sheriff's department, I'll get arrested. It was this very day after this <laughs> deposition. <laughs> oh, let's for it a little bit. Oh, I love that. I will get arrested. How dare you? It's I Mr. Mean, did Hale. She, did she do this interview did, like on purpose? Did she schedule it on the same day as her deposition? Oh. I wonder. Because she isn't being detained. So it's not like they came and got her. So she made the appointment to go there. She probably made it on that day on purpose. When she's speaking here too, I imagine that letter that I got, you know, <laughs> I can just get the, I can get the voice right in my head now, you know, right. put you in the hat rack. <laughs> yeah. I'm not trying, man, I'm not trying to get you arrested. I mean, you, you raised oh, this. Oh, yes, man. you are. And so is he. I do want to warn you, you're going to hear some language. You're going to hear some anger and aggression, and it's all going to be from line net. My husband found. Oh, of course, I've got a freaking commercial. <laughs> <laughs> what's with the girl in the banana? I don't know. That Spicy. was really, uh, you know, what's that? I'm going to be mad if they like, like, they're like demonetized. I was like, is that your commercial? Let me see. Give me a second. I pulled that down so I can play the freaking. I love it when I get those on my streams that have been demonetized, by the way. You know, somebody wrote me and they were like, Hey, you got ads. And I was like, Yeah, no, YouTube has ads. I don't know. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Here we go. Mr. I'll Hale, be right back, Tug. When he said 10 feet, 10 feet. The order that he's got against us in Ohio that he got fraudulently. Yes. Oh, he's referring to the order. So let's look at it. I don't need to look at it. John Mark, can't Mark, jump Mark. a fence and run on a leg with wrapping up to his crotch. When he can't run with that. You remember those turtle shell kneecaps too. He can't run with those things. You just well remember that. You're not on your property. That he that Mr. you and Mr. Cook cannot come within Is that one of those expensive Stanley uh by the way, <laughs> is, is that one of those freaking thermoses everybody goes nuts about? I've been hearing so much about. Ugh. 500 feet of Mr. Hales. Or we Mr. did it! Do you understand that this order says, even if he approaches you, even with his permission, 
You Did you want can... John to jump a fucking <laughs> fence <laughs> with, a ba- with his leg wrapped up one day out of surgery? What should he have done? And please lower your voice. What no... should he have done? I'm going to ask you. Are you? You voice. are not a nice person. <laughs> You're talking about I want, me? I want that on my stream deck. Hey, your your volume is down. Oh, whoops. I there want that go. on my stream deck. Oh, my God. I know. So you funny. are not a nice person. Oh, so oh. good. I oh, look at the face, too. And she could make so much money on Cameo. I'm telling I, that's you. That's what I'm, I'm saying. Like, I would love to have clips of my channel there. Again, drop all this stupid. Go to Cameo. Make a channel. Tell us how, how much garbage we are. <laughs> we'll have a great time. <laughs> yeah. We'll have a good time. You'll find out that we're all we're a lot of fun. We're, we are <laughs> a lot of fun. Oh, my God. You know, and- it, it, the, the sucky thing is, though, in reality, the only problem, you know, with, with everything we talk about is there's the kid involvement and her past with all the kids. You know, that's something oh. there's there's no forgiveness. You know, I. Uh, well, that that can be righted, you know, easily too. work with the biological family to to return her to her family. Drop all this crap with the with Jeremy Hales and move on to your new career as an entertainer. And and that's what you need. You don't need a kid anymore to get you your payday. You can just become an entertainer because people find you funny and entertaining. So you should just capitalize on that. Give the kid back and drop all this crap against your neighbor and just, you know, just start a real YouTube channel. I This this could be big. This could be big. Yeah, but of she course, could be like that. She could be the fifth Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. You know, she could run around with a <laughs> shell on her back. <laughs> I think Calabunga. she could be every bit as big as Tiger King. I'm telling oh, you. Oh, yes, very much so. Oh, my God. She <laughs> could scream. <laughs> yeah, it's so crazy, though, when you think about the, the roles in here. So, honestly, even <laughs> she she would actually be Tiger King and then uh, Jeremy <laughs> Hale. <laughs> you think about his role in Oh, my God. That would be so. Oh, oh that you're a basket. You're pa- your pause game is so on point, by the way. Oh, that's amazing. Well, I mean, she makes so many bad ballets. <laughs> You're amazing. But I would love to have one like her screaming at my channel like that with that facial expression. Like, just, just imagine the way- there's seven hours of this out there. Oh, God, I need it in my seven life. Seven hours. I need it, Tug. <laughs> <laughs> that would be that'd be amazing i'd love to like i'd hit one of those giant channel milestones and I'd roll through <laughs> i could yeah. get to a hundred thousand subs with that with that seven hours i just I, i'd spread this all over here like butter <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeremy yeah. whatever happens don't Man, settle please lower your voice and there's no get use, that no deposition no. it's real and are you a minister yes i am I find this irrelevant to the kids. I love how she like she t- all the anger and everything. All the anger goes yes, away. I yes, I am. <laughs> yes, I am. Oh, that's the best. That's the best. The oh my god, best. somebody sent me something. Oh, like give me a second. I got to stop this for one second. Okay. I gotta. It's gonna take me a second to pull this up. Okay. So all right, I gotta pull it. No, I, I also yeah. noticed that that like she's got all this anger and she's screaming and are you a minister? And she goes from like a ten to like a two. Yes, I am. <laughs> So even she felt a little convicted at that question, like, oh, crap, I am a minister. Somebody put me in the hat rack. I saw this. Oh, Oh, my God. Yeah, it's taking me a minute. I have to. Did they use AI? Did they use AI to do it? You'll you'll see. You'll love it. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, I'm so pretty there, too. I don't. I don't. I'm like, I look like, what the? What the hells? My (laughs) chat. My chat has been putting you through AI and giving you abs on abs. I don't know what's going on. I saw that ab picture, man. I was like, yeah, that's why I, I was. Uh, May, Megan showed that to me, and I was like, "Man, my six pack, my six packs have six packs. That's amazing." <laughs> Look at I've me. got a thirsty chat. I've got eighty percent women, and they're all very thirsty, and they're imagining <laughs> you with abs on abs, and it's oh, funny. To I, I wish I hate to break it to you, <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> I wish there's there's not a steroid alive that would turn me into that. <laughs> <laughs> look at me! I got all those hats on. Oh man! I love it. Here. Yeah, I, I like all it. the extra hats, the nice umbrella. 
Oh, I love it. I uh, love it. I look so good there. I'll put you in the hat rack. Right? That'd make a great sh shirt. <sighs> That would. That'd make a good channel slow. Okay. Anyway, I had to show you that real fast. Hey, chat, nobody's ignoring anybody in the chat. It's flying so fast, we can't see it. <laughs> I'm terrible. I'm actually, I'm terrible about it because, again, it's not, if I put it on my screen right here, which I would love to, but if I put it on the screen, then the signal on his will lag out. So I have to pick up my, uh, I have to pick up my phone and look at it. So sometimes I do miss what y'all are saying. So, you know, again, apologies for that. It's just, I got to prioritize. Here yeah, you can't have the stream lag. Uh, not for, I mean, mine, mine will lag out. It, 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 it'd be like virtual mud. You'd be like, what in the hell is going on? There we go. <laughs> all this screaming, all this yelling, rage, hostility with the. Ch You're being ball. ridiculous. Case number, ma'am, there's, there's, no, there's, no, ma the ma there's no question. I'm pleading the fifth. I'm pleading the fifth on everything. From now on, I'm pleading the fifth. <laughs> That's not how any of this works, man. Actually, you're going to plead the fifth? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm allowed I'm to pretty, do legally why are you or saying not. That? Then why are you saying that? Because you're trying to hem me up, and it can be used against me in the court. Therefore, I'm pleading the fifth. <laughs> Most of us would understand when you. I gotta love that. I'm pleading the fifth, baby. I'm pleading the fifth. <laughs> oh my god! And in a in a in, I know we've been over this, but for those of you who don't know, in a, in a civil case, when you bring the action, you can't plead the fifth because you brought the action. So you have yep. to be willing to give your the information, and you especially cannot plead the fifth if you're trying to avoid discovery, which is what she's doing. He's asking questions. She doesn't want to answer. She's avoiding discovery by saying, I plead the fifth. But the judge can infer guilt by that. They can't in a criminal case because you're talking about, you know, you, you have all the you have all the rights afforded to someone who's innocent unless proven guilty. That's not this case. This is a civil case. Your liberty's not at stake. And she brought the action. She can't plead the fifth. This kids is also why you need a lawyer. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yes. Please don't to... represent yourself. Yeah, you need somebody telling you, yeah, you need to not scream and yell and try to plead the fifth, none of that stuff. So, you are aware that there's a civil stalking protection order entered against you in the state of Florida, and state of Ohio, correct? Fraudulently, yes. All right. <laughs> and a court has made a finding after a hearing that... Fraudulently, yes. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Is that <laughs> you should be restrained from committing acts of abuse, fraudulent and abuse yes. against Jeremy Mihales and against his paramour. That was a personal request that he uses the word paramour because she keeps using it in every court document. I like that. I don't think it means what she thinks it means. And you should <laughs> also know that she's had no contact orders. What do you think? She, I wonder what she thinks paramour means. Uh, I think she probably thinks it has like a dirty, a dirty connotation. <laughs> She's like, you call, you, you have a heart attack and you call in the paramours. You're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, ex although paramour does have an illicit uh, connotation because it could be the partner of a married person. Mm -hmm. It can use two, it can mean two different things, a lover, <laughs> but especially the illicit partner of a married person. So I think, though, that they're using it to mean significant other. She's his fiance, and she, they're just using it to tweak her because she keeps using it. <laughs> I don't somebody think it means what she thinks it means. Somebody put in prawn amours. <laughs> <laughs> we'll prawn amours. Prawn amours. It was, he done it under perjury. Under, he, done it under perjury. he done it under perjury. He You're done right. it under perjury. He done it under perjury, Your Honor. <laughs> He done it under perjury. I need that on my board. I need that. I need that. On he done it under perjury. I love it. She is a sound bite machine. I She's mean. gold. Everything she is man. out of her mouth is gold. Oh God. I mean, she she could be she could be decked out in like freaking gold glasses. She could have she could have the platinum grill I keep talking about if she wanted it, you know. <laughs> Ugh. Give out any names. I will not. I find this odd, and I don't use that term often enough in Otter Creek. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear your question. <laughs> I can't hear you. I'm trying to figure out what's wrong. 
Do you also go by Michelle? Yes, I do. That is my name. That is what I've gone through since, since with since birth. I was you expecting her to say, "Don't wear it out." These... I can't, sir. I cannot hear you very well. Oh, I love that! Like she gave a camera here, and like she put her ear to the camera. To I the can't camera. hear you. <laughs> I can't hear you. That's amazing. We got like a, a. Oh my god! We can see in there. Look, it's a little discolored. Oh. <laughs> is that oh. your wax? Yeah, I'm, I'm like, that's really <laughs> Look down through there. Why you gotta bring that? <laughs> Not at all. Hold? I have to hold you up to my <laughs> ear to hear you. Something is wrong. Can you please check your mic? Closer, closer. I'm Look sorry. in my ears. Can you hear me okay? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, I Why cannot you... hear you, so I'm trying to figure out what's wrong. <laughs> Man, please stop saying that. You hurt. You hear me? We just proved you did. So stop saying. Sir, that. I can't hear you. If that. I love that she's answering him. He's she's like, waiting hey. until he's done talking, too, to yeah. say, sir, I can't hear you. Like, look, we just proved you can hear me. Sir, I can't. I can't hear you. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to use that next time I'm in a situation I don't want to be in. I can't hear you. That tap I'm going to stick my ear like up to the <laughs> my face and do it, too. Like, I can't hear you. They're like, what are you doing? Get your ear That doesn't me. work for you. Always make sure you brush off that. It's just a the solution pause. given to you by the lawyer. Oh. Does Mr. Cook have a cell phone? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> what? Not another one. Not another I mean, one. hey, actually, you know what, though? I'm glad that they're actually giving Jeremy, um, like, ads on this. So that's yes. good. Yes. Now, if you're uh, also if you're watching stuff, make sure that you let the ad play. I'm just doing, you know. With how this. much? How much is the? Uh, how many hits does this video have? Um, I don't know. Let me check it real fast. Let me, let me uh, look. It has two hundred thousand. I'm surprised it doesn't have more. Just to be I'm honest. surprised Many it of doesn't us have, have more. gone through this thing and. Yeah, if if you look drop up, drop the link in the chat. Drop the link in the chat so that they can uh, go and give it a couple more. Clicks. Yeah, mods, drop it in there. It's the video called "She's Going to Jail," so it's a real easy one to find. That's what. And uh, when people kept breaking it up, I was like, "Oh, it's that'll be a so one freaking to find. funny." Gonna ask for his cell phone. Why is this showing me? Excuse me, ma'am. You have two. What phones does this mean? mean? <laughs> We're having to take a deposition here, ma'am. Now you now she just hung up. <laughs> <laughs> look at Jeremy. He's like, what Absolutely. the what? Like, look, at, look at him. He's like, <laughs> if hanging up doesn't get you out of your deposition, you can always go with the Hail Mary. I got health problems. I oh. do not have um perception of time. <laughs> I don't have perception of <laughs> that's not a health problem. That means she needs to buy a watch. Yeah, but wait, we were just we were just in court where I was watching with on Jeff's stream and she was saying, I have a photographic memory. I remember everything. That's the way my memory works. I know exactly what that conversation was. He said this, that, and now she's I have no perception of time. What? That's amazing. I'm going to, I've got to go through this, the, the court stuff. I, I've been meaning to do that. I just, you know, every time I, I'm like, we're going to go through it next time. That's when some <laughs> other craziness <laughs> pops off. That's what I was going to do uh, when I got my channel hit. So yeah, I think I'm going to start doing that. That's, that stuff is gold. Every, every clip I've seen has been amazing. So I'm doing that. Dates and times. I do not, I, my brain does not work that way. So I'm sorry that I can't answer those questions. So you have a medical condition which inhibits your ability. I to have post-traumatic yeah, stress. Yeah, this is not going to work. You keep going. Wait, wait. PTSD keeps her from understanding how time works. Is that yeah. what she just told me? I guess I have no understanding of how time works. Uh, uh, interrupting me. This is what's part of the delay here. I keep telling you, let me finish a question. You have a medical condition that interferes with your ability to recall dates correctly. Is that right? No, long-term 
long-term stuff. I plead the fifth. I'm sure you understand when you do a deposition. <laughs> Long term, I plead the fifth. <laughs> oh my god! And she's the one. Just a note, it, you, you know, this wouldn't have gone into medical or anything else. She's taking all of this into crazy territory. You know, if you had a lawyer, they'd tell you, uh, yeah, be concise, answer yes, no, whatever, and you know, don't open this up for a million other things. Oh, she's, yeah, she's not good at this. All right. Ms. Preston, here we go. I'm going to share the screen again. <laughs> this is Preston, I'm going to make this a little smaller. This is, this is, do you recognize this as she's your She's clearly writing? scrolling. Page five. Yes. Yes. Of that's my handwriting. She's barely paying attention. She's and scrolling. For the record, this is the next screen. exhibit. And we can wrap, we can, we can make sure we're on the right numbers here. Has anybody zoomed in to see what's actually showing? <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering that too, because there's the reflection in her glasses. Like oh. are, are, do, are one of you artists out there? Can you get some software to zoom in and, yeah, and clean, clean that, that up? up? <laughs> Show it to I'm really curious. Or at can least you... just Photoshop it. Can you... <laughs> <laughs> can you Photoshop something funny on it at least? <laughs> <laughs> She's just dreaming about putting us all in the hat rack. I'm telling you. Yeah. So. Put him in the hat rack. Get him in the hat rack. Oh. Oh. It's her petition, 50 pages. She filed with the court, the court of courts in Levy County. Ma'am, this is your handwriting, correct? Yes. And everything in here is true and correct. Right? Yes. You want to look at it, please, before you say that? What are you doing, ma'am? Are you texting somebody? <laughs> No, uh, yeah, <laughs> no, no, uh, someone to have them call my lawyer and and, and ask them if they're going to still call me or not. Yeah, this is just like a why, why wouldn't you have a if she has a lawyer? Why wouldn't that? Oh my god, so many questions. <laughs> I'm texting so my lawyer, she's texting John Cook. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's like, don't answer that, baby. <laughs> oh god. Please the fifth. <laughs> uh, okay. You're not supposed to text people during your court proceeding. By the okay, way, I, I'm I meant to ask you: Did I did, during our court proceedings in this case have you texted someone during those proceedings in front of Judge the Thomases? No, I have not. I, I, but someone I, just asked me if they called me. I said no. They're contributing. They're helping me with the money. So I told her, no, he had not called me yet. That's all I said. So when you're giving testimony under oath, you're not to have any assistance and you're not supposed to communicate with anybody. No one is assisting me in anything. I'm going to ask you not to communicate with anyone in the room or outside of the room when you're giving testimony. You're, okay. We're asking for your testimony, not anyone else to communicate. Okay. No one is giving me anything to communicate. So please, I don't want to see you texting anybody, ma'am, in the future in this deposition. Please don't do it. And I'm going to ask you to now to put the <laughs> screen up do it. and show us your text that you sent a few minutes ago. No. Why not? <laughs> because I'm not giving Sorry, away stop. the person who sent Stop. We no. call this, this is obstructing justice, ma'am. Yep. This is obstruction of justice, and you can get nailed for this. Stop it. She's like, I can get nailed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> right, jail, right away. Send her to jail. Right oh, away. Lord. This, this is so wild, man. I mean. Give me the money. I'm not. She's my friend, and I'm not. I just a minute, I got an angry child behind me. What are you oh. doing? I'm some Patrick. Chocolate. Patrick. Chocolate. Chocolate. Pat? What are you talking about? Oh, SpongeBob? <laughs> no, Patrick. Oh, well, uh, yeah. I mean, you know, SpongeBob Patrick? Is that who you're talking about from that show? Patrick. Yeah. Pa I know. Where's <laughs> chocolate? Where's it at? It's in the tub of the fridge. The okay, the go cupboard. tell Christy to get it for you. And if she can't get it, I'll get it after I get off the lock. She's so cute. Yeah. <laughs> that voice i love her little sing-songy voice oh. uh, she's, oh, she's a cutie man she's just hearing it, her makes me want to go get ice cream i don't know why but i want to just run to the freezer and get ice cream and hand it to her 
it's funny during stuff, you know how you'll point at your eyes and then you'll point at somebody you're saying, I, I see you or, you know, yeah. I'm looking at you, I'm, I'm watching, watching you. you. She does, <laughs> she does that to me like all the time. <laughs> and, uh, she was at, she was at a uh, karate the other day and she was, uh, you know, she was sitting there and I was watching her do stuff and she was punching and stuff. And then she turned around and she did the, I'm watching you. I was like, are you threatening me? What is that? That was so hilarious stuff. She's uh, a crack up. No, she's funny. All right. You you said it was something else. What was the text that you just texted? She asked me if the lawyer had called and if I talked to him. I said no. Show us that screen that says that. No, I won't. I'm not <laughs> I'm, giving you her name. I'm obstructing justice. And why is that, ma'am? Are you taking because the, I'm oh. not having her be a target of Jeremy Hales. Any other reasons? Not the fifth? I'm not, not having her be a target of Jeremy Hale. I love how he threw that in there. Not the fifth. Any other reasons? That not the fifth. But this is not the way any of this works. Like you brought this action. Yeah. So you are now subject to discovery and whatever these lawyers want to ask you in relation to this case, they're entitled to know the defendant, the person you accused, and maybe you don't understand this person you accused has a right to know what is the evidence you have against him. And so if you have some woman paying your legal bills, guess what? He's entitled to know who in case it's some wider conspiracy that explains what you're doing. You know, it's relevant. It's relevant. Hey, you do talk for just that. I got to go get a chocolate yeah. thing. Or of course you do. I Somebody told you she like, needed you ice cream. Do it. You did say you'd do it. I you was did. Like, oh, you better go. I did say that. So I will be right back. I'm just All right. Me. It is now my show. Welcome, welcome to that umbrella guy. It's me now. You're stuck with me. And uh, I got to tell you, I don't know what is with this woman, but this is what I would do to her. Right to jail, right away. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with her. But she doesn't understand the basics of lawsuits. So when you bring a, a bring an action against somebody, they're entitled to discovery. Jeremy Hales is entitled to know who's paying her legal bills, period. And this stupid judge is pretending like her behavior at this deposition is less offensive than Jeremy posting these clips on YouTube. Ridiculous. That's ridiculous. By the way, I did finish the finger. Do you want to see the finger fence? The Lego cam finger fence? I can't make the, uh, I can't make the, the can I can't make the thing any bigger, but I can show you that I have made, look, it is the finger fence. Do you like it? Out of Legos. It even has like a little twig at the top connotating that it's, um, <laughs> that it's uh, made out of wood, but the finger out of the fence is, is done for turtle purgatory. It's going to be on the opposite side of the street, obviously. I'm actually not sure where the location of the finger fence is supposed to be, but I've, I've way. done the finger. I'm showing off my finger fence, the, the finger fence. Have you seen this? Uh, let me, let me pull this down so I can zoom in on it. Let me see it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cool. <laughs> this is the finger fence. Uh, it, you can see here it, from both sides it works. It's got like a little twig on the top. And this is going to go across from Turtle Purgatory. That's hilarious. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I had, I had, um, I had all the parental stuff. You know how that goes. You're like, oh, well, I'm getting that. Oh, oh, well, of course. You know, she's like, oh, well, need this. Oh, by the way, Dad. Oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, you just got a $300 super chat. Whoa. Whoa. You better read that. Oh, my <laughs> Lord. Connie. Oh, Connie, you're invited Lord. to my channel any day, honey. You want to come over by me anytime. I'm, I'm. <laughs> Thank you for the monster super chat, Lord. She knows exactly <laughs> what she's doing. How do you think she extended an hour hearing into five months that's, that's a very good point that's very true that's very true i, I appreciate like i said i appreciate all you folks that have been when, when i've i i've never had a time with channel where i could just live stream i had a, i have a bunch of stuff i need to do with the the kiddos recently so it is 
you know, my, my coverage has been sparse and people have shown up every time and helped out. And I cannot say how much that, that helps. Not you just showing up making videos right again. I, I, it helps me out too, you know, so I very much appreciate that. I've never had a time where I, I mean, you know, for the longest time, it was two videos, one live stream every day, every day. <laughs> you know, yeah. and right now I was like, Oh my God the YouTube algorithm will punish me. And people have been like, no, here you are. We're going to help you out. So I can't say that enough. Appreciate that. Thank you. All of you too. Thank you, Connie too. That's crazy. Yes. And uh, yeah, you can visit Megan, but make sure that you, uh, mm -hmm. you, uh, you, you, you tell her you're there. Be like, yeah, you remember that time you told me to come over here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. No, I, I, I mean, I, that, you, you said, you know, the, Oh, what was it? Tide lifts all ships. You know, and that's yes, been a, the rising that's been a beautiful tides thing. Yep. lift all ships. And that, I believe in that. I believe in lifting one another up and helping channels grow, helping smaller creators grow. And it's been a lot of fun watching. Oh, Danny on direct. I forgot to mention her. She got over 10,000 because of this. You know, she got a, a somebody dumped their stream, one of the what the hail streams into her chat and pushed her over 10,000. I mean, that is so exciting. It's so fun. When that happens, it's so fun to watch these communities really grow and these smaller creators who really deserve more attention, get some of it and keep some of these, these new subscribers. It's so fun for me. I love watching people succeed. That's something I really like. I, I don't like tearing other people down. I don't like tearing creators down. I, I hate YouTube drama. I hate it. And I just, I, look I at, would rather I help my friends. As, I don't look at them as, con I don't, when I, when I cover something, I don't want to compete with people. We all add to it. We all have our own individual perspective and everybody can cover something. You know, I had a, I had a small creator write me the other day and they were like, Hey, I'm going to, I'm going to live stream. I'm going to live stream at, um, right after when you live stream, I was like, okay, cool. You know, um, I'll shout you out or whatever. And they were like, no, I was just, uh, I wasn't asking for that. I was going to make sure that, uh, you would be done by X amount of time. I didn't want to try to stress. I was like, that's very nice. You don't have to do that. <laughs> you know, you can do whatever you want, but that was so nice of somebody to do that. So that's the, that's and the also, problem. I found that we can all actually cover the same thing and people mm -hmm. will still tune in. Yeah. I can read a document that Jeff will read the same document mm -hmm. the next day and we still get huge audiences for it. And then another, then recovery addict will read it and he'll get a big audience and then you could read it and you'll still get a big audience. As long as the topic is something that people want to hear about. They want to hear different opinions. And I find myself doing the same thing. Like if it's a document I'm interested in and I'm going to read, I will listen to Larry read it. And then I'll listen to Jeff read it. And then I'll listen to Recovery Addict read it. And it's funny because I always have a different take. Like sometimes we agree on things, yeah. but we all have different things to say. Well, we all so have different backgrounds. And, yep. You know. I mean, we have a lot of lawyers in there. Again, you're looking at it from a, a journalist standpoint. I'm looking at it from, you know, mental health. And, and again, we're just looking at it as people too. Yeah. Right. I mean, and everybody's different. Everybody has something different to share. There's never an, there's never a reason to get jealous and to, you know, try to stop somebody else from from advancing. And that's something that me coming from conservative media, I've seen way too much of. I have seen way too, way too many people try to keep others down instead of lift one another up. And that's not who I am. I don't like that at all. Speaking well, of I'm, ice cream, my daughter just handed me something yummy. I just I'm like, I, I've, I've met some good camera. people. You know, I met some, I met some really good people that way too. You know, like again with DUI, you know, and people share. So now I won't cover it until like, <laughs> like with Megan. And I was like, Hey, you know, when are you going to be through with, you know, eh, like eh, when you're going to show all that court part? Cause I want to look at that, but I don't want to overstream the same thing. I'll look at it later, but I do love it. I love the fact that you, you be first. I know who's going to be first. It's a for It's going to be Jeremy. <laughs> He's first. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, a lot of stuff is Megan or, you know, DUI guy. And that, that's fine. I'm good with that. I don't, I don't need to be first. I, I've learned this through YouTube. I want to be right. When you yeah. rush something. And I know DUI guy is going to be right on the legal portion of it. Cause you're looking at it like, like it's in, he's in the courtroom with it. Megan's looking at it this specific way for me. I want to sit down and think about it, you know, and that's just my processing way. Anyway, that was <laughs> I was so bummed. I was so bummed to the other when your live stream came down. 
oh, the one that so you did about judicial corruption. Oh my God, it was so good. And I had missed the beginning because I was sleeping. And so I was going back to re-listen. It went down while I was listening to it. I was like, dang it, is it back up? I, I haven't. Okay, so here's the problem. When they take it, I'll, I'll put it on Locals. All right. Um, if okay. Locals is free, there's a link in and I will, I'll put it over if anybody's not gone over there. Again, it's free. If you want to be part of locals or anything, you can. But I, I don't paywall anything, or I, I, I've never put members only or anything else. Uh, no, no shot at anybody that does that. That's their own thing. But I, I've never, I never do that. Um, so I'll, I'll put it there. Um, if I put it live, it messes with the YouTube algorithm because it's so long. If you put in something that's two or three hours, and oh, gotcha. say a few thousand people show up, you know, and, and it's lifetime youtube is like boy you have really fallen off <laughs> you know and they'll they'll mm -hmm. punish you for it so you not only have a fake strike but then afterwards they punish you hardcore for it so that sucks I, okay well we'll we'll go yeah. watch it on locals then yeah yeah Make it's a sure great there's stream. a link in the description for anybody that wants to go there and i'll put it up tonight All right. so here we go Continue. are you refusing no. are you refusing to tell us who you were texting and show us your text that you did during this deposition. I plead the fifth. Again, you're taking uh, the fifth. The fifth. Mm -hmm. Make sure what you're taking the fifth to. I'm asking you, can you, sh can will you show us? Yes, I am not going to show you my text that I just <laughs> answered because I'm not making her a, a, a victim of Jeremy Hales. And I deserve to be represented just like anyone does by a lawyer. And she is my help. Is she a lawyer? No, <laughs> she is helping me financially. What, what, I'm so confused on what just happened there. You know, she's like, I'm, I'm getting help. I deserve to be represented. Is that a lawyer? No, she's my financial backer. What's she backing you with then? Well, I'm getting a lawyer. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, Lynette, you don't get to keep that from the the person that you're suing. Like, that's not how it works. That's not. That's not how any of this works. If you're going to get a lawyer, nope. bring them in. And if you uh, if you were going to get a lawyer and you wanted in for this, then you could have asked for more time. I mean, there's a million different ways she could have done that. She could have but... hired a lawyer before she did this, but she chose to sue. She chose to go get, uh, after him pro se it, when she says i deserve to have a lawyer no you're entitled to have one but it's your choice she chose not to have one on purpose and like you said she brought this so she decided to go to, you know when you talk about somebody deserving legal representation really the person you're going after they they deserve a legal remedy. You know, yes, they're entitled, but I think they deserve it as well because we see now this plays out. Her, she should have had all this lined up before. Oh, what craziness, man. Every time I look at this, I think, this can't get any dumber. Oh, yeah, yeah, it can. Oh, it can. And I'm not going to give her name up. I'm not. Okay. On your screen, does it have the full name? Yes, and I'm not. Then cover it with your with your finger and show us the text that you sent just a few minutes ago. No, I won't. It's protecting her name. <laughs> no, I won't. You'll see my whole screen of Stop all. Stop being my so reasonable. No, you can, cover, you can just cover. You can blow up with your finger and show us the, the text you sent during this. No, episode. I won't. Why not? Because I don't have to make her a victim. I just but you do have to show him that text. I don't you? I don't you? Don't need to show it the name. Just cover I up. I will show it to the judge. I will not show it to you. I'm For not, you I'm to asking. give to that man, I won't. Ma'am, let's. I deserve the right to be represented, and she is my help. Just to make clear, you're refusing to show us something you have in your possession that involves this case, right? It doesn't involve this case. Does She's it? giving me money. That's it. That involves this I mean, case, ma'am. Yeah, well, and you're you're texting them during her. <laughs> Those texts are all now part of the record God. that you have to bring them in because you did it during the deposition. Again, this is why you get a lawyer. You would know this if you had a lawyer. He wouldn't let you do that.
I'm curious. Yeah, I'm curious if she turned this over. I don't. I don't know anything about that. I'm curious if she turned it over, and you know, they made sure that that was uh, time stamped at the right time. Everything else, just to make sure it was legit and correct. You know. Oh, ma'am. Then I want to see everybody that Jeremy gets his money from. Ma'am, you're not being responsive. Let's try it. The Let's YouTube sure channel. The I'm not. <laughs> My husband found this. Oh the man, another one. What is up with this? Guy? What is with this? <laughs> oh my god! It said there's a simple morning trick. <laughs> I feel like we have to watch this commercial now. Oh my god! I, I, I want to know I, what this I, is I'm about. Watching. It's only a minute long. Let's watch it. I, I gotta know. I gotta know. <laughs> to teen-like vigor, and our nights have never been the same. This is capable of making that was so gratuitous. And you know what's better? This works regardless of your age, it makes, medical condition, it or the It made no sense. In fact, according to the testimonials we've received from men, it works even better if you're over 35 years old. <laughs> it only takes a few minutes to do. And any what is this for? I still don't know. It's aid health. I myself wish that my healthness dot on had discovered this oh, years don't ago. Go there, because then we I, wouldn't I don't have know gone through is. all the discussions and embarrassing moments. <laughs> oh, it's Tom for ED. With this problem oh, well, for years, Tom suffered in silence for me. Many years. I'm skipping that. And you interrupted me. So I'm trying to <laughs> it's for you ED. Really oh my god! I'm asking a simple question. You've texted somebody on your phone. Mammy, you there? Yes, I'm here. Who are you speaking to? Nobody. Okay. You've just texted somebody in the middle of your sworn testimony, and you're refusing to show us. You messaged text. me and asked this me. Did he call you yet? I, 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 I have. I'm, no. we're, we're, I've never. I, I. I don't understand why. Let I me see if there's to... a way that I can freaking show you without giving away any names. If there's not, I'm not. If use there's not, I'm not. Use your Excellent. finger. Tablet. Use your finger to cover it up, ma'am. That thing is so big. I'm telling you. I didn't even get finished with what I was saying. So here. It's a blue tablet. I, it's like an Obama tablet. It's crazy. No, it still it still says her name. No, I can't. Cover it because up. Because it shows her name. Cover, Cover it up. up. You, oh, you've already told us her first name. I don't know if you see her last name. Cover yeah. up just her last name. Put the paper in your finger. My God. <laughs> you oh, this woman. Finger, can't you? No, I can't because it's a tablet and it's a huge screen. And no, it has her picture. No, I won't. I'm not. So I'm not. <laughs> nope, I'll shut the tablet off. And I'm not going to show you her picture. I'm not showing you nothing. I'm not having her be a victim because then she will not help me financially. And I deserve a lawyer just like he does. Are you? That's your phone you've described? <laughs> no. World's largest phone. <laughs> it your is. tablet? What kind of tablet is that, ma'am? I have no clue. It's a free freaking tablet. It's a free tablet. <laughs> a free freaking tablet. I'm trying to turn it off right now. I'm trying but to figure out how to do This is what Mo in the deep end would call I've what in the Walmart yet. is happening Are you, here. So you're what refusing Walmart, to show it. us any part of the texting you did during I your can't. deposition. Yes, Again, not this, this, is, this is literally is an amazing day. I it's don't care. Day. I'm not going to make her a freaking victim. Ma'am, you keep on interrupting. Then I need to call my. I about. need to call the lawyer and ask him. You don't, you don't. Who's your lawyer? Have you? Who have you retained as a lawyer? Uh, I'm hoping to God that it's Silverman. I'm but hoping. You haven't retained the judge's best friend, Silverman, right? This thing don't even turn back on. <laughs> Good. Can you show us that 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 show us that tablet, please? It's turned a freaking off. free tablet. Stop. It's just started coming back up. John, go away from the window. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Man, I was thinking like, oh, I mean, I wonder what he's doing at the window. Get away from the window, John. We don't want to <laughs> see that. <laughs> turned off. Uh, it just decided to come back up, and I'm not going to show you the name. I had Mo in the deep end on, and, and again, she showed up in a in a wig with braids, and she was doing her best Lynette impression, and 
as I'm talking to her, she's screaming over towards the window, John, get your hands away from your crotch. <laughs> <laughs> That's what that sounded like. <laughs> I heard it. I was like, uh-huh. Uh-huh. She's if like, you guys have not turtle back up. <laughs> if you have not seen Mo in the Deep End, she is so funny. She's criminally undersubscribed and she has all these wigs and she does all these different characters. And she showed up on my live stream yesterday. You've got to see it. And did her turtle lady impression. And it was so funny. God, it's good. I'm, yes, people, if you've not subscribed for some criminal reason to Megan Fox, go there and subscribe now. <laughs> <laughs> now. <laughs> While it's paused. Oh, and I just heard. Get this. There's going to be breaking news tomorrow in the Tonsil Twins case. I have been told to clear my schedule. So oh. I don't, I do not think that I can do, um, I was going to stream the hearing five in the Hales case, mm. but I have been told that I need to clear my schedule for tonsil twins by a very reliable source. It's that so, case, that three cases. Well, I'll That's tell you what I think point. is going to happen. I'll tell you what I think is going to happen. So there are other victims and I am understanding, I'm hearing that one of the victims is somebody that everyone will recognize. Oh. One of the victims is someone famous. Oh. See, that's, with something like that, that's how even more eyes end up on this thing. And that victim may be, my guess is, I have not been told this, but we have been trying to track down that victim and sending emails to, I mean, I've been, I've been pounding the pavement looking for this person. And I know some of his, I don't know the name of the person, but I know some of his pe- people who know him. Mm. I've been given some, a couple of names. So I've been hounding them, sending them text messages, sending them, you know, you know, emails. And it's very possible that tomorrow, perhaps this man will come forward. Oh, wow. <laughs> I mean, that, I was told that I need to clear my schedule. So see, that, that is yeah. wild. Like if people, that is a, that has not gotten the eyes on it. It deserves because that case has, first of all, it needs to be exposed to, but just as far as insanity, that case has everything in it that people need to see. Well, if there really is the caliber of person attached to this, that I believe there is someone that has name recognition. Oh, they don't blow up. (laughs) <laughs> it's going to go nuts, you guys. And the sun, by the way, do you know this, Tug? The sun deleted their story f- that they wrote with the last press release about how it's a hoax. No, I they didn't deleted know they deleted it. it. <laughs> yep. I'm not surprised. They memory hold it. They memory hold it. Those bastards left up the defamatory one, though, about of Clayton. They did. The sun is garbage they are absolute garbage they have gone in and they have victimized they've allowed a victimizer to victimize other people i mean they've uh, they've accused they they very uh, they, they got sued over this and they lost but they accused a man of murder one time because you know, oh my he brought him as a suspect yeah this happened in the uk there were a few places that got uh they got sued but the son was part of it and when this guy was brought in they not only they they not only covered him not as a suspect but as the person pretty much that did it but they started uh i mean they they railed on him for everything his appearance just they tried to ruin his life they absolutely did and they did a good job of ruining his life too and then it turned out he wasn't the guilty party oh well, yeah. and here they've got, they know that Clayton Eckerd did not do this. They know that he did not knock up this woman. She was never pregnant. We have the proof that she fabricated a sonogram, fabricated it. And yet, even with that proof, they wrote the article and then she must have, she must have threatened them with some lawsuit and they deleted it. And they didn't even put up a retraction, which is really slimy. For, for journalists, but boy, yeah. are they going to look stupid tomorrow? Well, and all these journalists, you know, they, they love to sit on their soapbox and tell us like people like myself, you know, even people like yourself, they like to, they like, even though you're a journalist, they tell you, oh, you're not, you're not a real journalist. First of all, I'm not a journalist, period. They make sure to tell me that, but then they throw it in. It's like, yeah, the way they define journalists, I'm glad they don't consider you. You know, you're actually. <laughs> 
a journalist, a real one. Oh, you found it. Good. I gotta say good night to my buddy. Good night, honey. Good night. I love you. I'm so glad you found it. Where did you find your retainer? Under the couch. Under the couch. Oh my lord. Put it in the case. <laughs> Put it in the case, please. I will. All right. I love you. All right. Good night. <laughs> I kids like that, man. Oh, I, that's that retainer. Yeah, I'll, I'll be like, where's your glasses? dollars I'll be like, where's your glasses at? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, right. I well, he had this was the worst, the worst one ever. We've never lost it for this long, and he has like an orthodontia appointment on Thursday. So oh, yeah. I'm like, oh crap. Yeah, you gotta he's, find it. You gotta find it because you're supposed to. He's supposed to get braces on soon, and his teeth are supposed to be moved a certain amount of space. But he put it in the pocket of his bathrobe. And then he slept in his bathrobe and the thing is not in his pocket. I'm like, oh crap. I looked all over his bed. I couldn't find it. We've been looking everywhere and somehow under the couch. Like, how does that even happen? You were talking about the the tonsil twin thing. Like I, <laughs> nobody else asked me. So Megan Megan asked me the other day that big live stream we had. She was looking at the uh, the thumbnail and she was like, "Is that Clayton Eckerd in the, <laughs> the thumbnail?" We and didn't like, talk about him at all. I was like, "Well, you know, he had a big story. He had a big win. <laughs> I meant to talk about him, but I just left it up there because I thought, well, fuck it." <laughs> <laughs> well, I, that was funny. I think if he ever sees it, he's going to be so confused. Like, why is yeah, my face yeah, on this stream? And, I imagine anyone else that looks at it and knows who that he is. They're like, oh. uh, <laughs> right, I'm about to Here's the tablet. Oh, the tablet. <laughs> it's really funny. I'm, I'm sorry to laugh. I don't yeah. mean to laugh. It's a freaking blue tablet. That's all it is. It's a free tablet. One of the biggest sales oh, ever. Yeah. <laughs> Give me oh. a second. Man, they way. put a lot of commercials on that. That's, that's on good, though, that he's actually gotten um, he's gotten ads in there. I, yeah, uh, you know, they put ads, it. Though, they drive me crazy. There's but they, too many but they of put them. them in. You know, they they spread them out. You can tell that that one was put in by YouTube because of the way that they break this. You know, they'll put in mid rolls. Like if I don't mm -hmm. if I don't put in my mid roll myself, <laughs> they they're like. Oh yeah, we did monetize this one. Here's 32. So you know, it's oh like, man, you know, I had one. I had a live stream where they put in uh, for real something like 26. I was like, oh my god, what is this? <laughs> you know, Jeremy says in. we want we want Banana Girl back. <laughs> 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 that really was the craziest, weirdest commercial I've ever seen. Like, where, so it's a blue pill commercial. Are they just trying to solve the issue without the pill? Like right well, there, off the there bat. are a lot of commercials kind of like that these days. It shows you, uh, you know, with these these giant advertisers, the Warners and stuff, they're paying for all this stupid that they've done, you know, destroying people's lives, not not going out and doing things that the, the customers actually want. So you see less and less of theirs and you see smaller ads, you know, some crazy ones That's sometimes. Some crazy crap. Yeah. I'm done. No, I'm done. I'm done. I'm not going to finish this. I'm going to quit this thing. Quit what? I can't take it. I need to. I think I actually need to go talk to somebody. I, you my like anxiety a lawyer? is off the chain <laughs> and I can't do it. Are you my anxiety is off the chain. I mean, can uh, you imagine like telling them I'm, I'm going to quit? Doesn't that mean good? My my anxiety is off the chain. Off the chain, baby. <laughs> Doesn't that mean good? Isn't that the slang the kids use? She's like, hello, fellow kids, using the slang wrong. <laughs> you can tell how this became, uh, you know, five months. <laughs> like I said. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can. You can see how uh, just a simple deposition turns into insanity like connie said there's uber chat you know this this is how it became five months of crazy uh uh i i need to talk to uh an attorney i need to talk to somebody there's a question pending ma'am let me ask this question i deserve i deserve i deserve an attorney like you everyone. deserve jail <laughs> This no, are you my, asking, are you in, in most court like this would be a problem like she'd be in contempt yeah you couldn't do this in a deposition you couldn't be a holding I, that's why randy shockett is laughing and he's like i'm sorry i'm laughing because this is an amazing day like yeah. <laughs> we've never seen this before i mean you know when you when you when you surprise 
attorney. When you shock, shock it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's, well, do you remember uh, when she was texting in court too? She was yes. texting and the judge never said a damn word. If you, if any of you have ever been in court, I think you understand that you cannot text in court. Wasn't it, uh, what's her name got thrown out of the Amber Heard trial for texting? Um, Barlow. Yeah. Yeah. Barlow got thrown out for texting. You can't text in court, whether you're a witness or a the plaintiff or the defendant or sitting in the in the gallery, you cannot text in court. They have bailiffs that are like walking around, and they're going to like yeet your phone and you from the courtroom. Like they're not joking. You can't have it. I had to get permission when I was covering the Cynthia Absug trial in Colorado. I had to get permission from the judge to bring my laptop into the courtroom, and you know so I could take notes. But I was told I was not allowed to text on that laptop. Like you cannot text. You cannot have an uh, you know, outside connection while you're inside the courtroom. And they're literally looking over your shoulder. Mm -hmm. So you can't, yeah, well, you, what she's doing is outrageous. You cannot do this. This is, this is a deposition is like you're in a courtroom and look at how she's behaving. Not just that. I mean, this is, this is you presenting your side of things. You're a, you're getting to argue it. You're going to be asked questions, you know, from a, a lawyer. They're going to dig into it. You need to present it. Of course, they're of course they're going to to ask you questions that are not going to be favorable or nice. But I mean, that's just part of it. If you handle this, like, there's a million different ways you can handle it, and never handle it like this right here. Oh well, you have God. to remember that the jury could see this because he could play it during the trial. Well, there's no jury in this case, but the judge is going to yeah. see this because he could play parts of this as evidence for the judge and the way people behave sometimes. And that's, what's great about um, depositions is because people get relaxed during them and they don't consider that this is going to be played for a jury. Like, like Sally Smith during the Kowalski trial, perfect example. She was so aggressive in her deposition, just unbelievable with her hair, you know, slicked all the way back and those glasses and that aggressive posture forward. And she was super gruff. She was, yeah, no, nah, I don't get, you know, I don't, I'm never wrong. And like, she just had all this. And then she shows up in court and the, the jury had already seen this video. She shows up in court and her hair is down and flowy and she's wearing makeup and trying to soften her tone and, oh yeah. And talking differently, but bitch, we already saw your deposition. We already saw what you were like for real. Like you can't put that on and people forget that they forget that during a deposition that they should behave the way they would behave if there was a jury sitting there. Yep. Yeah. You, yes. You, you, you might as well think of it like you're sitting right beside the judge. Like you think you've been sworn in and you're, you compose yourself, you compose yourself, best behavior. You give simple answers. You know I mean? That's why you need a lawyer again. <laughs> also, you need a lawyer. They should uh, talk to you about what's going to happen. And they should be there the whole time. I mean, when you go in, you do something like this. This is, this is the dumbest thing you could do. Dumbest thing you could do is walk in without a lawyer. And then, again, act like this. I've never, I've seen some crazy stuff going over cases for years, you know. And Asking. Uh, this. I just. Never. Ma'am, are you asking? Please, please put that down. Please put that down. Do you want me to show you the freaking tablet or not? I'm trying to figure out how to cover her picture and show you what was said. Ma so you said give me a minute, I'll do that. You just said you were done. So are you not? Are you now undone? I want are you, you to leave undone? me alone, please. I'm trying to figure out. I don't need you to show it to us right now. I don't need you to show it to us right now. Please put it down. Okay, remember that. That's on the court. Oh, I, don't need you, I don't need you, you to show it to us right now. I'm asking you, ma'am, please put it down. I can't tell you anymore. You're you're delaying the deposition every time you hold that up. Okay. Please put um, it down. It's, not, it's down. <laughs> it's so wild. And I'm asking you to preserve that tablet for the court's access. Do you understand? The, the tablet is already, I already erased it. Oh, oh. spoliation! So that's spoliation! What that's what she was doing this whole time. This you can't just do that. You, no. you can't do that. It's spoliation. It's again obstruction of justice. This woman has no clue. Oh, 
I hope they got a hold of the tablet anyway. You know? uh, I have breaking news. Uh, DJ Radis has come out with a new song. It's called Hat Rack City Bitch. <laughs> Oh, you know, I'm going to have to check that out. Oh, my God. We hit he this tagged you. He oh tagged you on Twitter. I'm going to check that out. I got it. Let's finish this, and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to listen to that. Can we play it? We have to play yeah, it. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. I want to hear it. <laughs> I like DJ Raddus. DJ Raddus does some funny stuff. Breaking news, okay. everybody. DJ Raddus has a new song that has just dropped, Hat Rag City Bitch. <laughs> Let's 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 put it up on the turntable, shall we? Let's get it going. Oh, this is gonna be good. I can't wait. Oh my god, there it is. Hat rags. Give me one Oh, this is gonna be awesome. DJ Radis, by the way, shout out criminally undersubbed. So, oh yeah, sub to DJ Radis, please. Am I subbed? I better go make sure I'm subbed. I think I am, but you know, sometimes YouTube unsubs me from people and yeah. I, and I know that I'm subbed and then I go over there. And I'm like, how am I not subbed? This makes no sense. All right. I'm set up here. Yeah. It, I wanted to make sure closed caption and everything was on there. All right. We ready? Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. This is breaking. Breaking <laughs> news. Jamming with the hottest DJ. DJ Rattus. How right suiting, bitch. How right suiting, bitch. <laughs> Carrot suiting bitch, carrot suiting bitch. Carrot suiting bitch, carrot suiting bitch. Carrot suiting bitch, carrot suiting bitch. Look at the subtitles. My dear umbrella, I will put you in the hat rack. Hat rack city bitch, hat rack city bitch. Ten ten dollars on your titties, bitch. You don't know who you fucking with. Got my other bitch. Sitting all night, turtle lady, we ain't celebrating. Next time too, though, I ain't selling it. Got a YouTube channel, it's supposed to be a motherfucking channel. Money, YouTube, money, you ever get rich? Line that, I've got your grandma on my dick, girl. You know what it is. The dirty hand up, you bitch. Hat rack city bitch, hat rack city bitch. Go subscribe to that umbrella guy and DJ oh. Raddus on YouTube. Find DJ Raddus on Facebook. Oh, Search God. for Otter Creek FL and the Shady Bunch. Oh, my God, Your man, that is amazing. Oh my God, hilarious. Oh. oh my God, he's so funny. Yeah, I'm. I'm glad it's. Uh, I can't. Remember. I think it was you actually that recommended. It. You know, one of the. Uh, one of the earlier ones and to me you're like you got to check this out so i checked it out <laughs> <laughs> what then, freaks me that, out is that he put my my voice through ai yeah. and he can make me say anything he wants and it sounds exactly like me that's uh, terrifying and also funny but mostly terrifying oh that was that was amazing <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Did you like my did you like my club lights? Did you see the club lights yeah. behind me? <laughs> you know, that's that's his uh, second. I'll play the other that umbrella guy song too. I'm gonna have to put that right there. Uh, let me hey, I'm gonna finish this and then uh, all right. Then I'm gonna be all over the place. After this, the after this, I gotta go because okay, I, I, I promised I would get out of time. here early tonight. Okay. All right. You erase it just now? No. I raced part of it, my part that I was writing because I wasn't done writing it yet. So you erased the conversation you had. And again, no, I, oh, did I, not. Knew, I knew you were going to interrupt. I knew you were going to interrupt. Let me try it one oh more time. Get the instruction now. Paul Silverman's office now, please. Who are you speaking to, ma'am? I'm yelling out the window. I need, I need a break so I can call a lawyer. There's a I question. I plead the fifth. I plead the fifth. I plead the fifth. I'm not going to get myself criminally in, in trouble. I plead the fifth. You already did. I plead the fifth. He pleaded the fifth to the pending question, right? All, all of it about the tablet, all of it. Okay. Just we can take a break. Okay. I we did not okay. know that I should. You told me that we if can I can take a break, I just I said, okay. Go ahead. I, I, I just said, me. you want to take a break? You just answered a pending question by taking the fifth, and you just you yep. just said, 
what what is truly amazing is you're you're creating your own. I don't eyes. care. you I I have anxiety over the roof, and I am not. I can't. I can't over the roof. This. I cannot over take this. It's over you the roof. are doing you, everything you, you, you can to get me to say I'm doing things wrong that I'm not doing, and it's if, wrong. If you remember, I told you that there's and, and again, please don't interrupt me. Wait, I'm finished. Mommy, put that over here. Ma'am, you you said you answered the pending question, leading the fifth. Oh. Oh. Ma'am, I need yeah. your attention. Otherwise, this is going to take much longer. Put this under your tongue to rise. <laughs> <laughs> to rise what? Put this under your tongue to do what? Oh. It said put this under your tongue to rise whenever you want. That's what it just said. <laughs> oh, my God. What is with the ED ads on your YouTube? Is, uh, is, is Google assuming his. something it's about you? They, it's what they sell on it. I've literally <laughs> never seen one of those. It's like they know you're a dude. It's like they know you're a dude. They 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 look at uh they look at uh gender they demographics, look at, all that stuff. It's like cause yeah. the stuff they put towards me are like the ads that I get on YouTube. Let me think. Because they're, they're always the same ones. But you know, I've clicked on a few. I have clicked on a few, and I think that's those smart bastards, man. They can get me to click. Oh, they put that uh, cream makeup on all the time that I'm, I love cream makeup. I don't know if they're listening to my channel or what, because I talk about cream makeup. Cause my, you know, you get older, you need moisturizing makeup, not that powder crap. And they always have cream makeup on like makeup ads <laughs> on my YouTube. So, wait, wait. So they're, they're like, Megan, you need to beautify yourself. And me, they're like, you need to go on a, you need to buy better clothes, go on a diet. And uh, well, and get some talking, even. Yeah, they're like, well, you know, if this were ice cream, we'd be talking about Mr. Softy. I'm like, wait a minute. Come on. <laughs> Mr. Softy. They prey on your insecurity. Look what they do. Look at how bad they are. They are listening. They are yeah. listening. And it's terrible although i do like that cream makeup though ladies if you're past a certain age that cream makeup is good don't buy that powder crap go for the cream makeup just get the paraben free kind well, they, they, i don't get any cool stuff like that i get like really <laughs> metrosexual ads. clothing and, <laughs> and ed ads. skinny like, jeans skin <laughs> you know you got to get with dave neal because he's into the short shorts now he he is concerned about the i i told him i was going to ask you about this because he was on my stream this morning uh, and uh he's you know he lives in tennessee now and he's concerned about the length of his shorts <laughs> He thinks that the length of his shorts might be too short for Tennessee. So I well, told him, I said, I will ask Tug, what is the length that's appropriate in the state of Tennessee? Are you in Nashville? If you're in Nashville, you can get away with a lot. But yeah, if you're, he's you're in Nashville, outside. though he almost got killed the other day. <laughs> Listen to this. He almost got killed the other day because some guy in a huge truck thought that he cut him off in his Tesla and he came after him into like the Home Depot or whatever with his fists up screaming at him. These, you know, effing Californians and their Teslas because he still has a California plate. Well, and uh, uh, Dave, it's a way to Dave, get killed out there. For I, know, real. I know. Poor Dave. By the way, Dave Neal is going to be performing on March 28th in Phoenix. If any of you are out in Phoenix, go buy a ticket to his show. Clayton Eckert is going to be a guest. He's going to be doing a Q&A afterwards. Oh, and, that's awesome. Yeah, and I think you guys should go and buy a ticket to his comedy show because it's going to be hilarious. And I will drop a link uh, in the chat. If you guys, any of you are near Phoenix, March 28th, go. It's like 20 bucks a ticket. And if you want to see the Clayton Eckert Q and A and the Tonsil Twins thing, that's like forty bucks a ticket. I think that's a really good deal for a night out, don't you, Tug? I, I do. You know, it'd be great though. I wish they would uh, like sell some internet tickets so I can like you know attend because I'm not anywhere near there. I'd like to actually check it out there too. I know. Wouldn't that be fun? They're not live streaming it, unfortunately. However, however, um, they. He says that he might put it on his Patreon afterwards, like because mm. there'll be a recording of it. Um, so it's the Desert Ridge Improv on March 28th, and I'm going to drop it in the chat for you guys. And 
check out March 28th. It's Dave Neal and friends with Clayton Eckert from The Bachelor. And he's Clayton Eckert's going to do a Q&A after the show. It's really kind of a once in, once in a lifetime kind of deal. Like, it sounds like fun. Oh, like man. When, when I, you know, some people got mad because uh, I referred to uh, Californians moving to Tennessee as carpetbaggers. They're like, oh my yeah. God, that's really what you get. You see it. You see, you see the mentality there. And that's uh that's Nashville. You get out in the the sticks, oh man, <laughs> that's where you have a problem. Yeah, get rid well, of that you would be you'd be proud of me because I told Dave, I lectured him for the first 20 minutes of the show. I was like, now Dave, you moved to Tennessee for the low taxes. You have to pay attention now to who is voting for lower taxes and you have to vote for them. Yes, always. you cannot vote the way you voted in California and expect to have a different result. And he was like, oh, no, we need. No, no, that's not true. I'm like, oh, you know, it's true. And like, I think I shamed him for the first 20 minutes. And I think he started to come around. I was, he was like, yeah, but the roads here suck. I'm like, look, you have to put up with some shit for low taxes. OK, well, no, no. Actually, the roads here were very good but then when we had the beer bug you couldn't get um we had issues with them going out and fixing roads so it that's already budgeted there's money in fact before the beer bug if you oh, good i'll out, tell him <laughs> yes. uh -huh. don't worry dave they're gonna fix the roads don't vote for the morons Yes, if you really want to see bad roads, go to Arkansas. That's very Hey, bad New roads. York has terrible roads, and we have the highest taxes ever. And New York has the worst roads. As soon as I cross the border from New York into Pennsylvania, you can tell because the road stops making noise. <laughs> I went. I was driving out of. I was going to uh, Oklahoma. I was driving a big rider truck <laughs> right when we crossed out of Tennessee or in Arkansas. Bam, I hit a pothole big enough. It blew out one of the tires. I mean, the thing, I was like, good Lord, are the cars in the bottom of this thing? I mean, what, what is up with this? <laughs> but no, I mean, you know, and, and that is something for real, like bringing the same things. If you're, if you're fleeing an area, don't bring the problems, you know? I mean, we, ha we already have enough yeah shitty you politicians here just don't bring yeah, I mean, I, you know dave said he's like i'm moving to tennessee because i need the tax break and i just wanted to tell him all right then then you pay attention to who gave you that tax tax yep. break in tennessee and you vote for that person <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna keep on him about it too i am when when election time comes around and be like dave let's go over your <laughs> options let's go over the options you want to be a good tennessean and you want to keep tennessee tennessee not california Yep. It was funny. It was have, a funny conversation. You're going to have a lot of differences. You're going to have a lot of free speech. You're going to have a lot of firearms. You're going to have, you're going to have uh, God, guns, and government. <laughs> yeah, that is, uh, <laughs> that is it. We, you know, we love it as long as you stay out of everything, you know, and, and keep them out of our, our pockets for sure. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Well, but yeah, his short shorts were hilarious. If you guys want to see Dave Neal in his short shorts, he did stand on his chair today on my live stream. Uh, it, that was earlier today. So go check it out because I was dying laughing. He's a short guy. He needs shorter shorts. So his legs look longer, <laughs> you know, and he's just, he was concerned that his new hometown wouldn't be so uh, inclusive <laughs> of his short shorts. Me. I mean, it, you know, <laughs> it not be. They weren't that <laughs> short, but they were a good eight inches over the knee, you know? So it's funny. It's not a lot of short. I, I don't, I don't wear, unless I'm getting in a swimming pool, I don't wear shorts. That's like a tennis. <laughs> Never? A tennis. Well, there's Never. snakes there, though. You have like moccasins and stuff. Yeah. Like, you got to I mean, wear you long know, I go pants. Outdoor. I might just start walking. You're like in the bush. You're well, out right there. Right now, the... it's not as bad right here, but like I might go out and visit. You know, we, <laughs> we used to go out like, like in the mornings, for example, like maybe one of my, uh, Maybe when the neighbors from my granddad, maybe like cows get out, and you're like, hey, I'm going to go out and help. <laughs> like, you know, fix yeah, this you've problem. Got, like, your entire wardrobe, I bet, is made out of Levi's, the heavy no, jeans, no. like the heavy kind. Nope. I wear uh, dress pants, actually. You I do always. not wear dress pants out there in nature. I do. I wear uh, I wear uh, either dress casual or dress pants. I always do. <laughs> I wear so many dress pants. So like you don't that. wear jeans? Uh, -uh never. Uh. -uh. That's weird. I never wear blue jeans. I don't like them. I don't like the way oh, they Oh, I fit. like blue jeans. You're, I, uh... you're like, you're like, what's his name? God, I've lost all the names in my vocabulary. I swear to God. Uh, you're like George Will. Do you remember George Will? Uh -huh. George Will was a, a famous conservative writer, and he once wrote this screed against blue jeans. You got to look it up, you guys. It's the funniest <laughs> article you'll ever read in your whole damn life about how America is going down the toilet because people wear blue jeans. It's so funny. 
Uh, I've never heard of anybody who hates blue jeans as much as this man did. But, <laughs> you know, you read it and it's just the world is 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 being destroyed because of blue jeans. It's the funniest thing you'll ever read. It's great. Look it up. I, George Will. It's funny to me out. I wear like um, I wear Caribbean shirts and stuff. So I'll be out like <laughs> working on something <laughs> like that in a freaking shirt that looks like a rainbow threw up on me. Yeah. <laughs> now I mean, that I could see that yeah, I could totally I, I see. Always, I always wear, I, I wear like shirts that are comfortable. I wear clothes that are comfortable, but I'll, I'll take my, uh, my nice dress pants that, you know, <laughs> I'll take some Tommy Bahama pants or something and go hike through the fucking scrub out here. You know, I don't care. Uh, the, the first sentence of George Wills, it's called America's bad jeans. The first sentence is on any American street. Or in any airport or mall, you see the same sad tableau. A 10-year-old boy is walking with his father, whose development was evidently arrested when he was that age, judging by his clothes. <laughs> father and son are dressed identically, running shoes, t-shirts, and jeans. Always jeans. If mother is there, <laughs> she too is draped in denim. It is the most hilarious article. This is written in 2009. You guys, whenever I need a laugh, I read this article about how much George Will hates blue jeans. <laughs> I'm going to put it in the chat because it will make some of you laugh till you cry. It's so funny. Now I'm going to have to read that after this. <laughs> it's going gonna, it's gonna to make you laugh. And I should read it on my channel just for just you because should. I can't get through it without breaking down. It's the funniest thing I've ever seen in my whole life. I hate blue jeans, though. I, I hate them. <laughs> I think you're, you're, you're going to agree with this. You're probably going to be like, right on. Mm -hmm. Down with I blue wear, jeans. I wear tennis Sorry. shoes. Like, you know, you're talking about snake infested. I wear tennis <laughs> shoes. My, my, uh. <laughs> my mom and my mom, they'd be like, that's dangerous. You know, like, like you get snake bit. I'm like, nah, I'm faster than the snake. <laughs> I'm really foot up. I had that one time. I actually got bit by a, I got bit by a water moccasin in my leg one time. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I went out and uh, I, I was, I was crossing a Creek and it was rainy. You couldn't hear him very well, but you can, this, this is the most country thing you'll ever hear. You know, you can smell snakes. <laughs> they smell like candy. what? Yeah, are you yeah. serious? Yeah, you can smell them. You can smell them in the area. But if it's raining, you have a problem. And you can hear them moving around. You know? So I was out and uh, you can still smell that smell. It smells like, again, my, my grandparents called it mushmallow, you know, cantaloupes. You know, they like a smell. Oh, like my God. Yeah. Snakes smell like cantaloupe. Yeah, they did. They make this. Spon they have this Listen, certain snakes smell, smell like cantaloupe. You can yeah. smell them. I don't know why, but they just do. Trust they do. It's the pheromone knows. they put off. That's so weird. It's a pheromone. Smells like yeah. cantaloupe. So if you smell yeah. cantaloupe when you're walking out in the in the bush, yeah, avoid. Yeah. Wow. The chat, <laughs> calm down. We are true. talking about important things here. They're, they're complaining. True. They want so the I deposition played. Listen, we are talking about important hey, things like important. blue jeans. This is and also can posted. If you ever want to watch it, just without commentary. <laughs> the chat what they want. The chat wants what they want. I know, but we just found out that snakes have a smell, and I'm sorry, but that is information that I needed to know. Yeah, I, they're uh, getting honorary in the chat, though. They're turning okay, on us. We'll finish it. We finish it. <laughs> let's, let's finish it real fast, and we'll talk about snakes and snakes. Okay. <laughs> No the show. Oh, go back. Go back. We can hear that whole thing. We go back five seconds or whatever. We have to get because her kid just fell down and she doesn't get up to go help, help her. Ma'am, I need your attention. Otherwise, this is going to take much longer. My child just fell down. There's no reason to shout. She didn't get up. I am looking at a document right she here on my screen. Up. We will it's amazing. <laughs> She didn't get up. That was it. That was the yeah, end. So that was it. You guys are all freaking out for that last yeah. like five seconds. My child fell down. You Bad know what thing. you didn't play though? You didn't play the very beginning. You need to play the very beginning because you missed the my mother died, my mother's not dead part. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's in yeah. the montage in the beginning. And the that's the fun we have to end with that because that's the funniest thing ever. Okay, my let's... my dead not dead mom. Okay, let's put that in there too. My mother died what proof do you have that your mother died my mother did not die <laughs> <laughs> there you go now it's over now it's official it's perfect. now it's officially okay. over Ugh. no but yes snakes they do have a smell i was wa I, I was walking over a creek i have tennis shoes on and uh, a snake <laughs> walked right up on top of it and um uh, 
Ooh. It tried to strike. And when it did, you know, I stuck my shoe up. I've got a big ass shoe, you know, I've got a size 14 shoe. So it's a, it's Whoa. like a little shield. How tall it, are you? I am six, five right in there. <gasps> six, five. You're giant. You're a giant. Yeah. Yep, that's what I like. I, I was like, man, I got COVID fat, you know, while I was sitting around, but at least I'm tall, so I can uh, stretch it out a ways. Size uh, 14 shoe, that's huge. Oh, yeah. Yep. So I, I had it hit me in the bottom of the shoe, and, you know, they can reach track. So it hit again, and I stuck on my shoe for a minute, and you know, I was like, fuck. You know? So when I kicked it over, I slipped, and it managed to – it hit my shoe again, and it hit me in the leg. <laughs> so I was like, damn it. Damn it. Uh, country living, man. Now the chat, the chat is all uh, pontificating about the snake in your pants. <laughs> 14 size 14 shoe tug come yeah. on now <laughs> it's the chat it's not me yeah i have giant hands too you know that's what they say i can pull giant, back yeah. you know what they say about men with big big feet large <laughs> shoes large, yes like? very large shoes you know what they say about men with large hands they can palm basketballs yeah. yes that's correct Oh Lord! All right, I'm gonna go through super chats. Do you want to jump? You said you needed to. No. You need to go do. Stuff I or... do. I do. Okay. I need to go. Okay. Well, I appreciate you hanging, Megan. Why don't you plug that channel real fast? All right. Well, uh, tomorrow I guess I'm gonna be doing more tonsil twins. Uh, that's happening on my channel, Megan Fox Writer uh, on YouTube. Make sure you get over there. You can click on my uh, icon in the chat and just get over there. I'll just type in another chat. Hello. There you, there I am. And also MeganFox.Locals.com. Uh, follow me over there. That's where you get all the notifications. That's when you know I'm going to be going live uh, somewhere. And what I'm doing, you can follow me there for free. If you want to sign up, you can use promo code Tonsil Twins, all caps. And that's you'll get two free months when you sign up for a full year. And we have so much fun over there. I, I did a cooking stream earlier today, uh, made chicken and red gravy. We do stuff like that over there. Locals is so much fun. Do that instead of YouTube memberships. Don't sign up for YouTube mem memberships. Just do locals instead because we do more stuff over there. All right, everybody. Have a great night. Tug, thanks for having me on. And nice, uh, watch out for those snakes. All right. Later. Have a good night. <laughs> Bye. Oh, that was fun. Yes. <laughs> that. Uh, yeah, anybody that's talking about, uh, like, you know, covering, um, I, I document, you, you hear this sometimes, you know, uh, you'll hear, oh, we just read the, the article, you know, don't talk, well, that's, that's part of live streaming. And yes, I'm very bad about getting out in the weeds. I'm not saying <laughs> that's the fun of a live. Hey, now in re replay, you can just skip over some stuff if you want. But the beautiful thing about being live is that. You get to go wherever the damn conversation goes. Oh, you learn stuff, too. You learned if you're ever hiking through the woods. <laughs> Don't be stupid and try to deflect a snake with your shoe. <laughs> All right, let's hit some super chats here. Carol Austin, thank you for those 15 months. Hi, beautiful people. Hope you are well. Much love to you all. Indeed, love to everyone out there. Thank you. Fallen Hero, thank you for the gifted membership. What's up, Fallen Hero? Appreciate you. Lisa, thank you also for our gifted membership. Thank you. Rhea Ra, thanks for the two. Ooh, punctuation is not her strong point. Now, you notice in anything you pull up from her, like very minimal, very minimal punctuation. Gamer Jackie, what's up, Gamer Jackie? Thanks for the two. Tug, honestly, turn it in. The threat will help. Uh, Jeremy and George, indeed. You know, I'll, uh, I'll see what we can do. Cause I want to see if we can find out if you can get past the anonymous thing, the anonymous filter, I'm not sure, but yeah, you know, cause if you can, then man, some DJ Radis, <laughs> by the way, that was pretty funny. I enjoyed that. Thanks for the two. Uh, it's actually now 40 versions of her name. So that's crazy. You know, when it, it was fascinating again, when you have somebody and their known aliases come up and it lists 20 plus, I mean, you're, you gotta, you gotta ask yourself a question. Why? Why does somebody have that? And again, you know, you can answer that. <laughs> These things with you. And Megan, now, Megan, have you, uh, you know, about the uh, commented about the fake journalist? Uh, sorry, I would have asked her that. I didn't see it right off the bat there. I'll, I'll send that to her. She can answer it her her thing tomorrow. Uh, getting so mad. 
that you are stealing her story about Lynette in Germany. She's mad because you're a real journalist and she's not. <laughs> it's so funny. Uh, the bus. What's up, bus? Is Rob. I wonder if Ricada would pay Lynette to step on him into Turtle Con. <laughs> <laughs> that would be hilarious. Uh, she could be rich indeed. What's up, DJ? Thanks for the two again there. Take her, take her, Megan. I need an email address to send something. By the way, if, if you're looking for my email address, it is, I'll tell you it right now, but it's also on, and this is most people. If you go to the about page on YouTube, that's the landing page where everything is. There's a little spot that says uh, business something and everybody's emails are usually there. Mine, no, I don't know why I have it. It should be just named after my channel, but it's not. Two words. Granular, G-R-A-N-U-L-A-R, heaven, H-E-A-V-E-N, at gmail.com. <laughs> Why is that? I don't remember. <laughs> it's something from when I'm way back. I mean, this channel has been around for a long time. It used to archive stuff, you know, <laughs> and uh, it didn't really get active. It didn't become that umbrella guy until really about, I don't remember when I renamed it, but we didn't start doing anything till around 2017 that actually covered anything. Bad duck, thanks for two. Good evening, log tube and survivors of Otter Creek. Indeed, indeed. Good to see you there, bad duck. Andrew, thanks for uh, my daughter used to say cabbage when she had cabbage. That's funny. Kids say hilarious stuff like that sometimes. Nathan, thanks for the two. Legit. My respect for Megan is uh, plus 1000%. <laughs> Megan's hilarious. She is absolutely hilarious. And you're talking about that article there. Oh, it was good stuff. Yeah, Tila. Thank you for the 27 months. There's no comment, but thank you for the 27 months. That's a comment in and of itself. Bob Life, thank you for the $2 super chat. No statement attached. Plenty of statement back. Thank you. Boomer. What's up, Boomer? Thanks for the 10. Please don't knock us, Boomers. Some of us got some sense. Hey, there are a lot of... I'm, I'm not 20 or anything like that. Man, I mean, come on. <laughs> you know, I'm I'm not quite at, get off my lawn yet, but I'm right there. So it's it's good to go. <laughs> Linda's mom, thanks for five. How long do you think it'll take to resolve? I worry about George and Jeremy. They're not safe. Oh, well, that, there you are. How long? Well, we're in, it depends on what happens next. I mean, right now we're just in a holding pattern. You know, and the one good thing about that, at, not for them, it sucks for them, absolutely sucks for them. But the good thing about this, this time period, this lull, is that people can get the word out and maybe you can get enough eyes on it that no one can ignore this anymore. That's what needs to happen. Man, thanks for the two. Get Foxworthy to read Lightnet's Ranch Live. Indeed, Jeff Foxworthy. Oh, Bert, what's up, Bert? Thank you. Welcome. Thank you for the membership. Welcome to Chugs. The appreciate you. Thank you. Patty, thanks for the two. You can't handle the tooth. <laughs> Indeed. Hashtag what the hell's. Hashtag love law tube. D-Y-Guy, what's up, Larry? Larry in the chat. Thanks for the 20 there. I'll put you in the hat rag, indeed. indeed. I need to add that. Give me a second. Let me see if I can, let me see if this will fit. Give me one minute. I'm, I'm changing my, uh, I'm trying to upload an, uh, uh, an avatar. So give me one second. Let me see if it'll, see how this comes across. Give me one minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. There we go. Oh, isn't that pretty? Terry, thanks for the two. Hashtag buckle up on the hat rag. Indeed. Chance, thanks for the 10 there. I want a bumper sticker for that just to perplex other drivers. <laughs> that would be amazing. See, this that's where your best stuff comes from people giving you slow. Again, hashtag buckle up. I came from threads. I'll put you in the hat rack. I mean, come on. You get the greatest stuff out of here. The best sound bites are unintentional. DW, thanks for the two there. Love your channel. When did this get sent to you? Uh, let me see. The message itself. Give me one second. I'll, I can tell you. Just give me a minute. I have to find it. It was yesterday sometime I, I'm, I'm looking at my phone and i it 
I'll give you one minute. Actually, I need to look on Gmail. Just give me one second, okay? It it breaks them up. I need to look on my laptop. Because it'll or my desktop rather, because it breaks them up differently. So the time that it was sent was March eleven, about four fifty. I think is the time. So around then. It was right in that time. Now again, it doesn't. That's that's my time. Of course, just a note. Joanne, thanks to do. My dear umbrella, I'll put you that rack indeed. Boxy, thanks for five. This is actually has me cracking up with the voice changer. It's oh that that voice changer was amazing. You two, you two are great. Yeah, I had fun with that. I thought it was really funny. Larry, thanks. You should always laugh at stupid stuff like that. That's one thing I like about with uh, Jeremy. Like, he has the right approach. Laugh at all this stupid. Monetize your haters. Turn them in. Make it rain. <laughs> yeah, that's how you do it. Larry, thanks for five. Hashtag, hat rack, song playing, like ACDC. Thunderstruck, you're welcome. <laughs> hat rack, that'd be funny. Hat rack. Cheeky, thanks for the two. Toothless hat rack. <laughs> Not tooth. Yeah, you better watch out. You better wish out for the <laughs> Tracy thinks of the two. Make sure your uh, t shirt hat rack has antlers. <laughs> oh, Teddy thinks of the two. Hashtag you will see. You will see. <laughs> you will see. <laughs> Bad duck thinks of the two. More like a hat rack lap dance punch cards. <laughs> oh no, you get discount lap dances. Oh, that's terrible. Kyle, I'll mess up. I'm gonna say K. I'm sorry. I'm mess up. I'll put your name. That's my southern coming out. I'm like, how does that pronounce? <laughs> Thanks for the the reading that Megan did is funny as heck. It was. It was very good. Loved it. Craig and Grady, thank you. Welcome. Thank you for the membership. Well, Doug says. Mistrust Lou, thanks for the team. New avatar tug. Add antlers on that umbrella. Yeah, that actually would be kind of funny. We'll play around with it. I'm sure that uh I'm sure that Dead Punk will come up with something really funny. Janice, thanks for the 10. Shell is a pea green with envy that you're covering the what the hell story, among others. <laughs> well, ah, oh, that's the beautiful thing there. You know, the um Megan actually going out and putting this, not only putting it out there, but successfully covering it. Again, because of you folks, her article is pinned in the, the chat at the top. Make sure that you click it multiple times. Every time you make something like that trend, it also shows other places what they're missing out on. You know, they're like, wait a minute, there's this story. and What, what the hell's indeed? Lolly, thank you. Welcome. Thank you for your membership. Welcome to Tug Sucks. Appreciate you. Joe, thank you also. Welcome as well. <laughs> I just know how to do it, so it's best to be up there. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you for the membership. Welcome to Tug Sucks, dear. Thank you. Proud. Proud anti of two. Thank you for the day. I did you see that. I got that one. <laughs> Wessel. Wessel has to go. Indeed. Long, thanks for the five there. The Lego tanning salon is perfection. That's amazing. That picture I was when I when I saw that I messaged uh, Megan. I was like, oh my god, Megan. <laughs> like, that is amazing. Michelle, thanks for the five. Seeing lies uh, can be obscure. Not about be obey. Yeah, yeah. Any any big words. Like we were going through that trying to trying to translate it. I thought, what does that mean? Might be a big word for LP. Lynn, thanks for that. Megan, I recommend upgrade your modem. See, that improves your Wi-Fi in your home. I've tried, uh, by the way, here, I've tried, you know, <laughs> some of these places are very, like right now, I'm actually wired in for the, la for the, um, for the desktop that I'm on. But <laughs> it's just where we live. I lived in a really small town once. See, I understand the when Jeremy was talking about needing a tower nearby. I get that. I lived in a tiny town. 
<laughs> one time that the only way we could get signal is by using satellite internet. That is the worst internet I've ever experienced. It was like going back to the days of AOL. It would take like a, a video that would take me uh, a minute or two to upload right here where I'm at now. It would take about four hours to upload. <laughs> it was really difficult to do stuff for a YouTube channel. And then where we were at too, getting a phone signal, I'd try to upload through your phone and that's its own can of worms. Legal vices. Thank you for whatever that is. <laughs> I don't know the conversion. Thank you. Let's get after it. Indeed. What's up, legal vices? By the way, if you haven't checked out legal vices, make sure that you subscribe to them. <laughs> I love legal vices, man. It's always fun going over there goofing off. Tracy, thanks for the two. I want to know if you did it at the courthouse. Did it at the courthouse? Mm, I, I'm I'm trying to think of the reference to that one. Oh, 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 if he peeked at the courthouse. I see what you're saying there. I don't know. You know, that that's a good question about the tanning salon thing. Again, I want to know if they they reviewed. Like, maybe you go in and you, you plead no contest and you just get the thing rolling so you don't actually have anybody ask for evidence. Oh, no, yeah, totally. They, they, they did it. And you notice the other thing with the Thomas's, if you read through his statements, and again, he's not a judge yet there, but when you read through his statement, he talks about him potentially being innocent, even though he said that he wasn't. It's not in his pleading. He said that uh, he was taking, he, he was being accountable. He was taking responsibility, even though they didn't came in and said uh, it was actually a anxiety attack. So, puzzle puzzler. Thanks for the five. Surge. Laugh in here, come the judge. There's a lot of shorts that seem appropriate. I'll check that out. I'll have to see what's there. Tarantula, what's up? Thanks for the 23 months. Thank you. DeSantis is a bigot. And his don't say gay law terrorized my niece and nephew. I don't like any politicians, just to get down to it. I um, I don't keep up with stupid politicians, any of them. Because you know what? I don't care what they tell you. Like we were talking about... We're talking about Dave Neal and Tennessee. Here, here's the thing. Politicians here, I don't like them either. When they don't interfere with something, that's what I want. Like like low taxes, you know, um, like property taxes, and we have no state income tax. Yeah, they've tried to push that through many times. So, you know, keeping them from doing things is usually my way. I, I just don't like any of them. I've really not found, you know, if I'm, if I'm talking about a politician, I like some local politicians. I think people get into that for the right reasons sometimes, but when you get into the, the bigger politicians, yeah, no. So I don't feel like there's, there shouldn't be a home team. You know, it's, um, my granddad used to say that, you know, people would vote for, um, the lesser, of uh, problems now people say vote for the lesser evil he wouldn't say that because he's very religious but it's true people are like who who's going to do the least amount of damage and that sucks i had them all recent thank thank you for the gifted membership appreciate that thank you and thanks for the five there they buy 10 days uh in a lunatic asylum maybe megan do 10 days in a, in a florida judicial system those we were talking about right? like all of that's true i was talking about clover bottom and everything that happened there. that's very very legit stuff i mean it's terrible what used to happen with in, institutions so we talk about not having i mean there's no no answer now like a person is uh in tennessee if you get put in say you get crisis you know, you go into the hospital, they think you're having whatever, whether you're you're talking about, I'm going to say for you to, you're ending yourself or you're having a psychotic break or just whatever. They go in and they quote unquote stabilize you. Typically stabilization, all that really means is you don't have a behavior, you know, you don't have an outburst or whatever through X amount of hours. So they... They have the authority to dope you to your gills. Now, you don't when they 
you you come out, you can't be involuntarily doped. You know, you can't be given medication that just zombifies you. So what happens if people don't have um, a relative to go and stay with or they don't have um, housing? There's maybe 1% of people that need, or I'm actually less than 1%, what am I saying? Less than 1% actually can get into some kind of housing through insurance. But the rest of the time, people just go back out on the street. So it's terrible. So we need something to, to fix that. But institutions, man, the overhaul. I mean, there's no good answer. Say so thanks for the fun there. Man, you started a new Lego court artist and put the uh, court chalk artist out of business. BS, just have some cash for the contempt or for the noise. <laughs> I love it when people complain about the noise for her legos. It cracks me up. Kimberly, thanks to you. Lynette and Crook outside the meeting. Arrested. Mm. I think, by the way, if people haven't caught up, I I've been looking at a lot of the, the backlog of videos. I've been trying to catch it more of a... Like what the hell's live streams? The last one, they do a very good job of their dis their whole disposition has been very good. They stay upbeat and positive in front of the camera, but you know it tries on them. And they talk about, you know, the impact that this has had, and it has a real impact. Tell there. So it makes it important, very much so. Sandra, thank you for the five gifted memberships. Appreciate that. Thank you, too. I do love the gift of memberships. I don't want to just be like, hey, thank you, and that's it. I I really do. I, they're probably one of my favorite things that YouTube has added. Say, so, thanks for the uh, five there. We need to get the Institute for Justice to take on this case because of the First Amendment items. Please pass this on. Hmm. I just I think if you get enough, you know, organizations come out of the woodworks if you get enough eyes on it they'll volunteer <laughs> you'll have a lot of places that will volunteer to take it on k rap thanks for the 20 there don't need to be mentally ill to be treated badly that is very true if you live in a nursing home paid partially by the state you'll find yourself parked in the hallways away from bell and buzzle by bear buzzle i said but i don't know what that was buzzer <laughs> buzzle <laughs> buzzer unable to call for help forget getting meds yeah it's you judge um uh, you judge the advancement of the society by how they take care of those that can't take care of themselves the vulnerable populations children the mentally ill the elderly I mean, when you look when, and we fail there so when we talk about our society being advanced are people like progressive the hell of those words these days progress a truly progressive society would take care of those that can't help themselves gamer jack thanks too oh god can you imagine line that monty <laughs> nay 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 <laughs> chance things that it did there she sold a home to move to camp on a piece of land in the hopes of, of getting money that's true <clears throat> even if jeremy did give her money it wouldn't be enough to build a home. It's plain crazy. Yeah, there there would have never been there would have never been enough ever ever. Two, I, I I'll have to ask this too. So uh, just to say, Terry, by the way, thank you for the. Uh, is there a promo code for uh, PJ Media? I'll have to ask. I, I'm I'm not sure. I'm sorry. I, I when I looked through, I, I missed a couple of questions. The Megan ones. I should have I should I should have looked better for there. I apologize there. Nice, thanks for the 10 there. I um, don't know why we didn't see through a skull to the right side when she sailed the uh, phone up to her left ear. Uh, I do wonder what she was looking at. You know, you could see it in the reflection of those glasses if you could clean up the image. Paul, thanks for the two. Texting her lawyer, the judge. Hmm. <laughs> McWilliams, thanks for the uh, two there. Can you imagine? Can you imagine the full seven hours? I'd love to see it. I'd love to see it. Hey, Bob, I love turtles. <laughs> Turtle prawn director. <laughs> uh, Lisa thinks that you're both so bad. LOL. <laughs> you have to laugh at this stuff for real. You know, we laugh at, 
it's, it's terrible stuff. The only live stream I haven't been able to laugh through is that live stream where we talked about um, the findings of the child. I, I couldn't laugh through that. But I mean, you you have to. This stuff will drive you crazy. You know, there's so many terrible things. Thanks for uh, also the additional two here. Can you imagine the full uh, seven? Uh, so that, yeah, I see. <laughs> that's that's very true. It's very true. Thank you, and Connie. Thanks for the giant super chat again. Appreciate that. And again, I thought this was good. She knows exactly what she's doing. How do you think <laughs> she extended an hour hearing to five months? Indeed. Heather, thanks for the. What's happening with the other case? Yeah, so the tonsil twins, we got the update on that. There's going to be a big update tomorrow, it sounds like. So yeah. keep up with that. One second. Hey. Yeah, is this stuff I'm live? Are you almost done? Yeah, I'm going to be done in probably five minutes. Why? Because I want to go to my room. <laughs> yeah, I will be. Give me five minutes, okay? I'm crashing my room. I'm, hey, I'm, uh, I'm going through the end super chats, okay? After that, I'll be done, okay? okay. All right. All right. <laughs> Love you, kiddo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, real baby. Thanks for that. Why not related to Amber Turd? It's early depositions. Mm, it's a good bad duck. Thanks for that. Topic guided me to law to all your personalities and hilariousness. Keeping me there. Good, funny people. I really enjoy the entertainment. Yeah, remember, like as far as law to... <laughs> The lawyers say we're like honorary members. Um, I'm not a lawyer. <laughs> so just we look at a lot of cases. I just look at cases that find my I like to cover false allegations more than anything. And I like to cover crazy cases. Like just things that you're like, this is it's terrible and it has a, a point or a purpose to bringing sunlight to it. And this case, it, it means, I mean, there were false allegations. Like, look at the allegations made. And then we find out that there were more. There's a string of them. And we also find out on the other side that there are, you know, that, that victimizes and creates victims. And victims are oftentimes falsely accused of things. And on top of that, You have so many other victims. Long well, things are fine there. Keeping Connie's check company. I, want, I really want to know what that freaking uh, message was on the laptop. Don thanks for too. Kendall needs turtle shell knee pads. Indeed. Mike, thanks for the two. Tannerite is fun stuff. Just be careful. Yes. Yes. That is that is great advice. Kids never ever play with stuff like that. I mean, people blow that up. You can see it on YouTube. Lisa thinks with you. I don't get ads. Huh. That's kind of, I get them. It depends on the search. I, I usually play people's videos. If I, I might use an ad blocker depending on who I'm watching. But if I like the content and I want to help it out, I do that. And also, here's the thing. Like, if you want to help out, the hills here's a good way to do that or just people that you enjoy <clears throat> this channel <laughs> if you uh if you know something is indeed monetized like their video is leave it playing when you and walk away from your computer because what'll happen is it'll just sit there and it'll play every single ad <laughs> so you're helping out the channel with the uh with the ads, they have to be watched uh, for so many seconds. I think it's depending on the ad. And then if they get click through, if somebody clicks on it, it does more for that. So you can help out the their channel just by doing that. You know, and that becomes a big help sometimes too. Ken, 1957. Thanks for the two. Lynette, call CD. <laughs> Indeed. Stripper ball. My oh, Lord. Greg Granny, thanks for the two. They know everything they don't know anything that's true it's very true robert james thanks for do calls the girl mommy yeah i heard that that she called john daddy that's that was odd you know it was really odd 
in the fish and wildlife one, she called her poopy girl. Like that still stuck with me after everything that we've seen. She was calling her poopy girl. Like, I, you know, again, there, there could be a million reasons for that. But after everything else that we've seen, I just, I found that disturbing. Our interface. What's up? Thanks for the two. We have roads in our bottles. <laughs> uh, that's, uh, that's funny. I mean, the, the, um, the roads in Tennessee, they're worn down. But again, it, it's because of the beer bug. Like with the beer bug here, our roads were pretty good. But then there was just, it wasn't the beer. It, it was anything that was necessary. You would think that, um, you would think fixing problems with the roads would be a necessity. But for a while, it wasn't. I know, so they allowed a lot of damage and now trying to fix it. What they've done is they've gone in and they'll, instead of fixing potholes correctly, they'll just put that, that cheap black top on it. You know, the crap that oh, I remember people doing their, uh, their driveways in it, you know, that stuff just, it's gone in it. It's gone with a good rain. So it's created more and more problems. Maybe they'll fix that. But before it really was, we had pretty decent roads. Trace, thanks for doing. We have bad roads. You crazy people in Florida. <laughs> yeah, we're getting a glimpse of some, aren't we? Uh, I mean, in this case, <laughs> Rosalind, thanks for the vibe. We have a place in Eureka Springs, Arkansas. Best roads ever. I'm placing down. It's it's horrific. How I I thought, like I said, the worst I've ever seen are Arkansas. I was driving, <laughs> so, uh, so I was driving a rider truck. This is actually a crazy story. I'm not gonna get the whole thing through it but we get through um we get through tennessee right when we cross into arkansas i mean right there it's it's like it it looks like a, an exploded minefield it's so bad and these are interstates we have one of those giant you know it's got a uh, dual wheels so we had one of them and i kept thinking man this is the worst truck ever because it was so bad when we were driving. And that was because one of those potholes, they ended up blowing out one of the interior uh, tires. And <laughs> we drove on it for a while. I thought, man, this this thing, it handles like a brick. And well, that's because it was missing a tire. Gandis, thanks for the day. 39 aliases. I'll send you a list. Yeah, send me over. Send it. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you for the membership. Welcome to Tugs Thugs. Bad duck. Thanks for doing. Jeremy, you have a challenger for long driveway. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yes, I am tall though. Um, there's actually video. Um, <laughs> I you don't see my face in the the thing, but if you go back and you look up anime Matsuri, M A T S U R I, I went in 2019. I went to anime Matsuri. I have on a um. <laughs> I have on a Jason Voorhees mask, but it's turned into a, that umbrella guy mask. But we did panels and stuff there. So I was there. I'll probably, I want to go to some stuff. I got some stuff I got to take care of this year. Whenever it finishes, I want to go to a few um, conventions. That would actually be a lot of fun. So maybe. <laughs> yeah. Finally free. Thanks for that. I'm so late to the stream, but Megan's Reddit rendition of the threat is the funniest damn thing I've ever I've heard in forever. Us all needed this joy today. Indeed. It made me laugh. I thought it was good. And you know, again, when you talk about this stuff, as a larger channel, you're set up to handle this. You know, I have uh, I have people I pay to handle these problems. I have to pay you know, this is, this is a terrible thing in YouTube, but for myself, I actually, every month I pay 10% of what I make to make sure that I don't get shut down by one of these whack jobs because they don't like what I talk about. And sometimes and they have, they've saved other people's channels. I've had um, strikes fixed and stuff where I couldn't get it fixed. I mean, YouTube, in fact, um, I had a, the worst thing, the worst one I dealt with was a live stream. It had been deleted. It was deleted a few days. And after it was deleted, I, I keep them private now, but I deleted some in the past. And after I deleted it, they struck one. 
Well, after he had been struck, I couldn't, I couldn't challenge it because it was, it wasn't there. They're like, I can't challenge it. And they even said that on Twitter. They're like, yeah, we're not going to give that to you, but um, it did get fixed. It's basically, uh, it's a crazy system though. It's sad that in order to, to do this stuff, you have to pay people to get these problems like to go in and to, to plead your case. Because again, you know, um, we're just looking at court documentation most of the time. We're looking at letters that come. All this stuff is public, you know, but it, it gets fixed. So I, like for me, that's not something to worry about for a person like myself. What you have to worry about is um, any channel out there that's smaller. When those people get hit, like if I get, if my channel gets hit and I had a real problem, I post about it. I post it on uh, Twitter. I'd say like, I can't get this done. And you can make a lot of noise with it. But channels that are starting out, oftentimes they are silenced by people like Lynette. And again, I can't prove that that's the person that tried to do all of this stuff. I, I can't, again, that's just, I, I don't know for a, a 100% fact that that's who did that. But, I mean, <laughs> if it's, I, I I get so many weird emails anyway, I wouldn't think anything about it typically. But when that, you know, your channel gets targeted. And I mean, it, again, it was a little inconvenience. It was an inconvenience yesterday, you know. But I had stuff I needed to do anyway, so it, it worked out. It was okay. But like I said, for other people, they don't they don't even have that hurt. So keep an eye out on this. If there are other channels, and let me know too. If there are channels that are covering this and one of them takes a hit. I mean, if you need somebody to, to bring attention to it, I'm your umbrella. <laughs> right on the hat rack, baby. And Mr. General Tugger Knight, I saw somebody uh, demoted you from General the other day, by the way. But I was like, nay, 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 none of that. <laughs> Thanks for the months. Hey, Doug and Jad, love y'all. Just wanted to let you know my turkle purgatory is in the bathroom flushing one turtle and dumb. <laughs> Not everyone. Oh, is that what a turtle purgatory really is? Oh, Lord. Anyway, I'm going to call it here. What does S-A mean? Well, for... Well, it can be initials for somebody, but if we talk about someone being essayed, yeah, it's being assaulted a certain way. You know, you just, you, you shorten that. You also, I, if, if somebody's experienced that they want to end themselves, you know, you may call that SI because of ideation. So, I mean, you know, again, at some of it in mental health, you'll shorten things. And then on YouTube, just for that, like essa getting essayed, that's what I hate that because that is some people's initials. Again, I know somebody in the chat with the initials like that. And it's just one of those things. You, you there, there are people also that always say, um, why shorten that, you know? You're being silenced with that. Well, you, you learn you, you learn that you have to report certain things within the parameters of this system. Otherwise, you don't just get demonetized. Demonetization isn't. It isn't the it, when you look at that, people think it's about money and it's not. It's about getting throttled as well. If something is considered not friendly to the point that. It can't be profited off of for YouTube. If they they can't put anything on it, then they'll just shut it down. And they do. They do that all the time. Let me see. I had a video I wanted to play, but I wonder if it's on here. I want to play a song for an extra. So, uh, yeah, I want to. <laughs> this is this is not attached to this. This is attached to the um, to the bots conversation. But I want to play this as an extra. So here we go. And then we're out. So anyway, I, I may be back tomorrow. I don't know. Um, I have a lot of stuff to do with the kids. If I am, I, we'll see. We'll just see. And I want to cover, um, I want to see what happens with Clayton Eckerd too. But anyway, here's song extra. Oh, birds sell it, drive me insane.
that umbrella guy They didn't even know my name Just a cult pusher bait And a leader swiper Too dumb, get him a diaper Now they're crying While trying to drag me down And I'm full of guy Careful, all those tears might make you drown Low rent chair, no sobbing on the mic Bots, are your writers still on strike? That umbrella guy, how dare you pick up questions? We'll accuse him, get busted, and we'll never make corrections. MBS of this platinum flow. So they target Adam Walden for their tiny little show. That umbrella guy, how dare he laugh aloud? Oh no, look, we're gathering a crowd. There's a plan, let's pretend none of them are real. Instead of admitting what you did to death was real. Wait a minute, they just computerized my voice. I'm a super villain, that's their narrative choice. They're running a multinational AI army. That's what costs the millions. Yeah, that's really charming. That umbrella guy will show him how it's done. Call 911, he's laughing. He's still not on the run. Yes, your honor, the Lexi is mocking my name. He's monetizing me, that's not part of the game That umbrella guy, he's not playing fair Know your honor, I don't think the man's aware We represent his name, stream letters And then it just this note doesn't fit in our headers My wallet, you wanna count my money? After you raised an anonymous 10 million? Yeah, that's pretty funny Corruption? That sounds like a sign I'd laugh at you, but a joke, you're more of a punchline That umbrella guy was mocking me in song So a nation of bots can clap and sing along